That's all right. Turn me down. They, they can remember. They bring me on. Y'all know I'm kind of low. Stasha, you want to come on? You get yours in early so we can. Oh, when I seen that, me across the street at the hotel trying to see what time preacher gonna start serving. I was so hurt. I'm looking at that sir. Stasha did that. You hear that stuff? They saying, yeah, Stasha, you know I have been a major proponent in defending you, right? I seen that all out. What? Y'all hear this? I told you I was 7.30 last night. Hold on for me, 7.30, y'all, you would get here what time? 7.30? No, sir. Round about, think around about somewhere in that seven, at least seven fifteen. They came in like seven thirty nine. I ain't but nine minutes late. Yeah, uh-huh, just stroke. What time? So if I, so what time we start? So we, all right, so we, well, I don't know, y'all know if it's seven thirty. I know y'all come in and sing a little bit before. So that's what y'all just did just now. Cause I said I asked y'all what y'all want to hear. Did I not? Three or four songs. So what time are y'all gonna start singing them? So he do what he want to do. I would never count to try him. That janky guy done knocked out the internet. Every time I'm about to get, oh, but what's the chance of some stuff like that happening? I can just choke. When I see that thing, I'm going to kill him. I could kill this man. You know? No. Everybody, right? everybody all right, though? Yes, appreciate everybody. Y'all learning the thing, Layla? Yes, appreciate, appreciate you here. Appreciate you here. He's showing up, I tell y'all, he's showing up in a Baraka to I, I appreciate the liberty he gives us. Not of our own, of ourselves, but just be able to, to look more into it so we got clarity, so we have honor. You see how much clarity you got about now statements versus people just, I, I, what did I tell y'all before? I, I, I read these people when I get a chance to read it. I, I read it when I come here with y'all. I don't, everybody I watch read, I really, I'm not impressed with these people. I'm, I'm telling you, because again, it ain't nothing to myself. It's just, you, what's your background in this? You can have to say, well, my studies is, that's your studies. So you gotta remember, a study is just a curriculum, and that's a discipline they give you that you can't break. They're like in, in the education system. They don't let y'all, they give you a syllabus. You teach the syllabus. And you go outside the syllabus, they're gonna correct you. But sometimes it's needful to go outside the syllabus. Just like he gave you, even with him, he had to set up some guidelines and rules that show you it was needful to go, to go somewhere outside of the syllabus, but for the sake of saving. Oh, come on. When, it, when, when, uh, when Dahu and them, they took the, uh, the Ahran, the Ark of the Cup, the thing was finna fall. So what did he do? He just tried to catch it. But it wasn't in the room for it. He was outside the syllabus. So he had to kill him. But when Yahushua was going up and he needed help, what happened? Somebody helped him. He knew he looked, it was needful. These guys don't know custom. That's why I'm listening. I, listen, I'll be a fool. Cut me off if I tell you I'm the only one listening to him. I don't want to know what I'm doing. That would be a flat. Cause all y'all don't. I just, I'm just not. When I, I listen to these people, I watch. These people have an agenda. Okay, I need to sell this program. I'm not trying to sell nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to tell you, all I got is the truth. You can take it or you don't. I, I ain't the best at it. There's still some growing, some learning. The whole now, Bicic is, Bicic is very. He does very well in a lot of the studies that they do. I'm not in no way criticizing nobody else on that. But a lot of times you watch these people, and I tell y'all these people, y'all watch me for this. These people, these people have an agenda when they write. If I write a book, The Life of Tony Smith, you think that thing gonna be criticizing me? It's The Life of Tony Smith, I'm Tony Smith. So what am I right to? I don't tell you about no bad stuff, that's crazy. It's the life, the life, the life and greatness of Tony Smith. Come on, man, what am, let, let's not be stupid. <laughs> y'all know how many different, tra- why y'all think they keep making different translations? Cause somebody wanna get their part in. Somebody come and get something, they go down. You have to be familiar with these people custom. When you read, this had to be something you had to practice. Let me tell you something. Even when you watch people with those animal shows, you, you, how many of y'all seen like those National Geographic shows? Though? You, most of y'all don't know. Y'all don't know people are stacked there sometimes three and four years. You don't get out in no truck and start filming and talking. These people, when you like, how did, they've sat out here and lived with these animals from day in, day out. They start learning how, where they go to. They, they don't just jump out here on the trucks and like, oh, look at me, Vasa. No, they've been doing it for years. So they start telling you certain things about them because I've started to learn their behavior. When they see a right, right, they'll rub up and they'll say, she's greeting her sister. Because they watch them and realize this is a greeting. This is a greeting. You understand? It's like they start watching when, when Ari comes, when he ground, he bite, he's chastising them. Some things you could pick up, but they start to watch patterns. 
for me, we have to watch patterns. That's why you should put up that. He wants you to watch patterns. That's right. Patterns. You got what I'm saying? Patterns. That's how we knew when things happened. It was him. That's why I say you'll never read nothing old in the in the first burial. Nobody said the devil did it. We don't let people say stuff like that. We don't let people, you'll never say, they don't even talk like that. They already knew who it was. He said, I kill, I wound. I heal, I make a lie. Why would they be saying Satan did this? Ain't nothing but the devil. That didn't make sense. They knew patterns. They knew who, what did they say? Who say show to a Mizraim? No, they knew Yahuwah. He said, I did it with a mighty right hand. See, that's why you had to pay attention. Because you know what we say, in New Testament, as those of us that came in Christian, who we always blame stuff on? Is that ritual? Is that writing? Is that customary? These people gave that. It's not really, it's something we picked up, adopted from them. But these people, come and get that tattoo. So, <laughs> no, sometimes that's, man, that spirit be moving, though. That thing, I remember time, man, listen, we was on the porch at the farmhouse, house and um, we were set, we were dog tired. We just got through, we was, it was me, it was me, Jai Greek, and uh, Leon. Jesse was out there, one. It, it was some more of us out there, but hey, with them, the white, we was all on that porch. What you that camp, what you that thing? It was, y'all know, then we was on that porch, we were going to say, we were saying something, we said something, they like, they like, that thing just bounced. Every time somebody pick it up, the white said something, Jai said, no, it's him, <laughs> skip you. <laughs> Well, listen, the white war, I say it myself, definitely go back. The white don't take, the white one who got crack a little song, but you need to move on. He kept going, he said, he said, that thing bouncing. All of us said bouncing. He said, it skipped you, the white. The white, I brought stuck up. I said, definitely be bad. I'm like, man, please let him catch it. We, you ain't gonna do too much missing with the white. The white don't play this. And he meant too many, he finna get violent. Get that right? Ooh, boy, you gotta be careful with the white. But I, I do I appreciate Yahuwah for allowing us to um, to grow, um, to move. Because they typically taught you what it says is what it said. You know what I'm saying? Don't deviate. And it's never deviating. It's just when you're not taking original script writings, and some of these people have taken bits and pieces, have gone back and say, well, to me, this was seen. And it gets to be, it can become dangerous simply because if you're not a person who he's Mashiach anointed to that, he's never just allowed people to just do. Nobody can just pick up the book and read it. Right. It's never been given because it was only to a particular people. Uh, it, these were offices. And so you're dealing with offices, there's only certain people want to handle it. I don't, even, he look, I, I don't even deal with everybody like that. So everybody just like people, that's why I tell you, I know y'all think, you know, I just be at home stuttering. You go ahead and do it. I already know you ain't gonna do no good. All you're gonna do is read something, you're gonna start fighting. Right. I mean, people, listen, he wanted to stop the fact that everybody teaching each other. He said, no more, every man going to teach his neighbor saying, no, he runs no, no. He said, all going to know me from the least to the greatest. It was neither for, nobody came up to, came to uh, Mount, uh, the heart Sinai, and then somebody said, well, I want to, well, let me just teach you. No, no. We sure taught them. You know what I'm saying? He was there, Yahuwah was supposed to, he taught, he went and he taught. He said, I'm going to teach you statutes, mosh pots. I'm going to teach you all this stuff. I'm going to teach you all this. You're going to know it. You're gonna know. You're gonna know. You're gonna know law and commandment. I'm gonna teach you this. You can't have everybody teaching people. People mess up. People now. You got all these people out here interpret people. People and some stuff they can say can be right, but you ain't gonna believe it. It's a time. It's a time. You can move too fast on too much stuff. Right. You can make a mess now. Okay. A lot of people listen. It's a lot of wisdom with the job. You just can't jump around. Just do everything. Listen. It's always right to do right. Don't, please don't take that wrong. But sometimes people jump in there, pick a piece of something, you don't know the whole puzzle. You ain't got the rest of the piece that go with it. So you'll implement something and you'll wind up killing something else out of you. Put in something and they don't really understand why they're doing it. And see, when you don't have the intelligence you're doing something, that's just the dangerous, it's just doing it um, or just violating it. So it's important to have the intelligence. When we sit here and we get taught, we need intelligence. We need to understand. Right? That's what it say. What it say? That's what it said. What it said? What it say? Okay, so you really don't have any idea what you're doing. So we write back to where they were before. Right. Why would he tell us to hear the conclusion? What was that again? Oh, Why would you need to hear the conclusion of the whole matter? Why won't when I, as soon as I hear it, just take off? What was he saying the reason you need to hear the conclusion of the whole matter? Before you move and start jumping and doing stuff. I know my members have to be reading and researching. People. <laughs> That's fine. You don't move me one bit. Do you know the conclusion of the whole matter? Right. No, you don't. So when you start moving, you're going to get stuck somewhere. I'd rather hear the conclusion of the whole matter, then I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. 
Y'all got it. Like a lot of stuff, people don't realize. When he told you to hit a conclusion of the whole matter, what was you supposed to do at that point? You remember? You ain't going to believe it. Just, just amazing. Where you get that from? Hands. That's tight. That, you, come on, Atlanta, you're going to check. That joker slid. He said, <laughs> I seen that. Like, I, I don't admit, that joker smooth. He said, he saw me like he said. So I playing with it. I was like, he ain't see me, did he? No. So, okay. Who had the hand up first? Did you have your hand up first? I'm not first. Who had it? Jai, he had his, you had yours up first? Well, if you can't tell, I ain't gonna tell either. <laughs> well, oh, you had, oh, y'all heard it. He said, I'm mumbling, grumbling about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, who, all right, come on, what you got? Mm hmm. No, well, that's right. When, when they see, think about it. When he told you to hit a conclusion of the whole matter, to fear you who and keep his amar, where would you actually get it from? That's an order. Think about it. That's an order. Guess what we did? We kept a commandment, then we got fear. No. See, it's incorrect. It's not the real correct way to do it. That's why it came back to real establish. This is just us sitting here, just telling you how easy people miss stuff. They'll quote that. Here the conclusion of the whole matter. He told you about fear Allahim and keep his amar. For this is the whole duty. That's the first thing they did. He told you they feared and they were removed. Then they said they'll do all of it. See what I'm saying? Guess how we did it. We start keeping, but you don't have fear. When, you know what he told you about Abraham when he went to take his being of the offering? How he moved? So when Yahuwah told him to do it, guess what he knew what he had to do? You're supposed to fear to do it. Fear not to do it. Fear, that's why he went away and said, you know what you do? I'm, I'm praying on it. See, that'll be, that'll be Qatar. See, th this is a little stuff that people miss. I'm trying to, these people, they're really not that smart. Don't follow everybody. I'm telling you, because you take off, you get to moving, and you're, it's technical. It's very technical. Okay. That's just like, for, can anybody be a receiver? Nope. Why? It's a skill. Believe it or not, it's a skill. There's a lot of it lie on the line. You can put a man down. He, it's, it's things he got to learn, but some position of skill. Just like quarterback. You know what these guys look at? I can throw. I assure you ain't no quarterback. Listen, it's a, these are skill position. You'll see sometimes they'll throw a play. You say, what this idiot was thinking about? It ain't what he was thinking about. That receiver messed up. A lot of times receiver missed where he was supposed to be. I'm just, think about how many times you see a pad get thrown. You'd be so pissed. Chris, in my chat, a lot of times, and you'll see the quarterback walking, he'd be pissed because he realized you was, they teach him to throw at a certain point. They ain't trying to hit no man. That's stuff you do when you're playing in the yard. In the yard, you're trying to hit it. That's why they think they're a quarter. Am I telling the truth? We had the conversation. These folks don't know what they be doing. I just listen to them. They don't teach them to try to hit the man, hit the man. No. That man supposed to learn where he's supposed to be at. That's all it is a win. That's right. That's a win opportunity. You get a man to swear, he get in him and he touch it. He's supposed to get it. That's what we practice. So you look at this same thing here. When it comes down to a lot of people around, it's a skill to this. And a lot of people miss it. See, when you got fear, let me tell you something. I put a gun, I say, hey man, let me get all your money. Walk up on the street, I say, let me get all your money. What you thinking? Oh, let me hurry up and give it to him. You thinking, nigga, who you think you is? You think I'm a punk? See, we wasting too much time. When I, when I dropped that, when I dropped that, well, tell you what, I got that 357, I realized. I dropped that 357 on your nose, and I assure you, you ain't going to never need no more tissue. We ain't, ain't going to take long. All this stuff will be rushing through your mind. You listen, you trying to get up, you trying to rip, you thinking, and I got some more at the bank I withdraw. Because, you know, think about it, you're scared. That's how you're supposed to do this. this is, I'm going to tell y'all what mess a lot y'all up. You don't have it. Yeah. I'm telling you, the average I'll tell the truth. You think before you move. Yeah. I don't have to think with nothing. The book tells he moved with Phil. You didn't know why. Why? So this, this thing about this. This is just talking on this, okay? This, uh, this is the whole duty of man. Uh, fear Allahim, keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. When Abraham, fe Abraham feared, when he told him to do something, Abraham knew what to do. He moved, he moved immediately. So it only makes sense. If you supposed to be, what were you supposed to be calling Abraham? I'm trying to say his cousin, his seed, son. Seed referred to the son of Abraham. So how I need you to move when I tell you something? Because I'm calling you the son of Abraham. You wouldn't be dragged. You know what? This is what people messed up. You know what you should told them people? See, if you were Abraham's seed. That's why he said, that's why he said, I know you're not. See, they, why, why would he relate you back like that? You know what he told you Abraham did? He rejoiced when he seen my day. That's why he threw a muhart. That's how we knew he celebrated. Yeah. He Yehuda. That's why, he, but see, you don't know nothing about cousin. You don't know nothing. You said he knew. He rejoiced. That's why he said, I already know you're not Abraham's seed. Mm. He said, you seek to kill me. He said, this Abraham didn't do. Mm. Hello? Yes, 
Listen, I know what you're thinking. He took him up there to do it. You didn't believe what, all, what you who had told him. Stay your hand. See, I'm watching you. He said, your hand's still moving. Stay your hand. Why do you think Yahushua kept his hand up? Don't y'all know Yahushua? Let me tell y'all something. These folks don't know what they're doing. This don't take long. Look, don't you know when he came to Mizraim? You know what he looked he did? That man told you, I'm going to stretch out my hand over Mizraim. Yeah. And what happened to them? They moved. He destroyed them people. You get what Yahushua did when he was up on the tube? Stay your hand. These people don't know what they're doing. Stay your hand. That man could have killed you. Why you think he had him nailed up there? I'll kill you. He had to stay his hand. Yeah. I'll kill you. This, that man had stretched his hand out all over, your, over uh, Jerusalem. What you think he was going to do? Mm. These people have no idea what they're doing. I try to tell them I know what they're doing. Y'all just sit down and be still. Keep studying. Keep following them folks you follow. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, best books to buy. I endorse these books. Listen, my name is Tony Smith, and I approve this message. Cat in the Hat, <laughs> Harry Potter, yeah. C-Spot Run. You're going to have more biblical knowledge than all them people. They ain't going to be able to do nothing with you. Let me tell you something. It's too much that people don't watch. That's just talking y'all right quick. It's too much people don't understand it. This stuff interlocks. <laughs> this is it interlocks. You playing with something, you don't know what you're doing. You just running, quoting something, running. Man, this is a this is a lifestyle that people live. These people understood exactly what they were doing. He knew exactly what he said when he was offending them. He's trying to let them people know. Go back and look at what Abraham did. You can't call yourself no seed of Abraham and do what you're doing. You got what I'm saying? These are things we're looking at. Remember what he did for uh, Yasuk, when he did for uh, Yasukar? He told him because Abraham, what it was he did? Obey my, and then he kept some. My statue and my, my spot. That's why he could stay there. That's why he could stay there. You mimicking a man. Hello? Sir. Okay. I'm trying to hit y'all. I'm trying to let y'all know. Mm -hmm. And so when Yahushua came on the scene, y'all know what we should have did. You should have laughed. <laughs> Hello? These people don't know no better. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It don't take that long. Come on, let's get ready to go to work. It won't take that long. We'll move a whole nother way. I like the freedom you give me. <clears throat> Auto that able. Most could die shabu. The separated Father, we come before your pine your presence to acknowledge you as Yahuwah, the existing one, Alihim, the supreme ruler, who is our Shaddai, who is the most powerful, who is a beer, who is strong. We call upon your Shem, which we call upon your name through Yahushua Hamashiach, which is your salvation, the anointed one, who is Gadal, who is great. For all that you ransom, all that you rendered, all for whom you forgave, through the kasee, which is the favor and the recom, the undeserved mercies, that you spared us even up until this present hour, that we should come before you and should, should call you, which is to worship and adore you, and most of all, being limited of you, which is taught and shown how to do, that you might grant us the benah, the understanding, the da'af, the knowledge, and the kagma, the skill and the wisdom, that we might be sealed and receive the raw hakadash. Grant us that the yara might be upon us, that as we become recipients of the, of the baraka that you left, which is the benefit, the gift, that we might always know how to halak is how to walk. We pull out that you be with those that are not here, those that are in affliction, those that are watching in my live streaming, those that are on Zoom, those that you will later allow to come into the, the, uh, the knowledge of this information that's prevalent unto Yeshua, which is salvation. According to the Berif Shabbat Abraham, Yasakak, Yaakov, the Yahudim, and to Yashara, and to Ladah, and to all that are far off. We pull out that you allow your Dabah to come forth, that it might be with conviction that we might be converted, that we might shama, which is the hidden intelligence, and let it search our inward part, that there be no defects, no faults, that we will not be beguiled, which is unfaithful. And as we prepare to move further, we pull allow in which we ask that you take full control, that you get the Tahalim, the praise, the kaboot, the glory, and the kabod, the honor, and the shem, which is the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach. Let us all say, Amen. Appreciate y'all. We wound up doing a little talking just then, didn't we? Again, y'all will never hear me try to claim to be the best at this. 
that's not my that's not my uh, that's my not, that's not my rim to say I'm the best at it. I'm just one person that operate in it. How about that? Y'all know we're starting the 15th chapter. And see, a man stay humble, he can use them. You hear a lot of them testify to being the best at it, but I just let them talk. Which they ain't telling me in a way because I don't listen to them. But I ain't no <coughs> fool, I know people. Isn't that right? LeBrick James claimed to be the best basketball player ever. That basketball scene. <laughs> this is Roman 15 and 4. He cool. might be in some people's book. There's a lot of short stories out there. <laughs> Does it he the best in your book? No, Ever played? LeBron? Yeah. He in the top two? No. Top three? No. Top five? No. Top ten? I, I get a Tell him, not. probably not. No that got that. Y'all heard Bishop. <laughs> 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 well, I know Bosley. Bryce and uh, Cookie, but they sit there like, boy, I, they don't like that. <laughs> open that. They probably like all Yahoo. Open the eyes. So <laughs> no, but no, that's a, when it comes to basketball player. When it comes to basketball, it's all open to choice. After you name out the first top five ever played, you know what I'm saying? Top ten after that. After that, I mean, you can pick anybody at that point. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? That is, I mean, you can pick any of them guys. Manu Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no guy got my new ball. No guy got my new ball in the top three. <laughs> when a man start out like that, he named my new ball. I, man, I don't even listen to the man no more. Ain't that right? Them guys just be naming folks. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Well, that Luke Lonely. I said, yeah, man. That, yeah, let's talk about something else. We better start fighting him. Look at him. Well, how many y'all got Luke Lonely in y'all top five? I just want to run y'all. I saw it, Rashida. She says, what are you and that's going to be a check. All right, this, this is Roman 15 and 4. Let's get us a foundation. Listen. For whatever Nikatab before. So whatever was written before. Nikatab, Talamidus. Where are you at? He on the ground? Oh, <laughs> man, I'm sitting around looking around. I can't find you the same. I'm like, yeah, show us. They right here. I can hear y'all. What y'all what saying? He the spokesman? I know the rest of y'all got mouths too. They looking around like, yeah, what he said. Yeah, that's right. I need y'all to know. I always, listen, I need y'all to equip yourselves, young men, and my young people up here too. I, and, and not according to what Cuff told us, who they call Peter, he said something to you and to your children. Hands for bases. Hand for the base. That's bad. What's the reason? He's exactly right. So, so now, how many of y'all remember that he said it's under you and your children, all that'll fall? What, think about, what was your basis for that? Because he said it. You see how dangerous it is? You just jumping out something because somebody said it. Braces, that makes sense because it, it, it intertwines with you were supposed to teach it to your children. And? And they supposed to do what? So it makes sense why he said into all that'll fall. Think about it. These New Testament creature people in say what? Well, see, I believe what the apostles said. Based off of what? Because Jesus taught them. Okay, based off of what? So you don't believe in Jesus. You just don't really know what you're doing. There's a basis. You have to have a foundation. This stuff is structurally sound. That's how we know whether. Listen, when, when things came, there were things you had to say that, that would solidify your statements. Thus save you who? Then we knew to listen because we heard we heard when that mountain shook. Our, our, our boat, they heard when the mountain shook. They saw the thunder, they heard, so they knew when you who are talking, you're supposed to listen. And we're supposed to teach that fear to our benign. Y'all hear, and they're supposed to teach it to their benign. And they're supposed to teach another two dollars. So when he said the promise is unto you and to your children, the promise is what? So what happened? No, the promise that he was talking about then, remember, you only had two. You had the promise and you had the Torah, the law. Okay? So to try to show you that the law had not disannulled the promise. This is why he told them the promise and not the Torah was under them. Because now we're going back to what Abraham, he told Abraham, he told that he's talking to the father and the father's supposed to teach who? What, 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 what exactly what status did Abraham hold? He was the father. Who was he supposed to, who, who did he, who was, who was the Baraka, who was the Baraka too? Yeah, Sakat. It was to his children. 
So it all makes sense when you look, it's structurally sound from the tour. He's trying to show you the whole time. Although I get, the, all the law was, let me borrow for a second. The law was basically this. No, 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 just try to follow around, follow around, follow around, follow around to, to, it, to get you. That's, that was it. After that point, I'm done. Mm. That's all it was for, to get you to the promise. Yeah. It was never you for say. It was only to get you to the promise. See, most people don't understand where it was just a vessel just used to, the, the, most or less, just escort you somewhere. Yeah. That's why these people get lost with it. Mm. That was the only purpose it was. It was only there to get you to it. How y'all think we were able to identify him? We was, out, we was able to identify him because of the promise? No. That makes no sense. We identify him through the Torah. Mm -hmm. All of the operation, how he worked. How did he come here working? Off the promise? Torah. He worked in the capacity of the law. That's right. That's how we identify him as this is the promise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So show y'all how to operate quick. Quick example. Don't take long. Abraham had two what? Yeah. Two Benim at the first. Okay. First one? Ishmael. So what happened when Yashikot came on? You ain't gonna believe it. He was only there till the promise came. <clears throat> That's right. That's why these people don't know what they're doing. That's why they don't know. And at that point, you had to separate them. Yeah. Because they couldn't be together. What he told can two what with that again? Except they do what? So when they left, so so you remember how Abraham was still pissed when he left? What happened? <clears throat> he consented with his wife. He let, That's why they stayed together. They'd have had to separate too. Remember? Yeah. She said, get rid of him. Yeah. Abraham said the thing grieved him. Yeah. He said, don't let it grieve you. Yeah. All that she said, do. Do it. That's why they stayed together. He said, somewhere you can't, you had to be agreed. Mm -hmm. The tourist don't agree. Listen, the tourist don't agree with the promise. That's why they had to separate. Mm -hmm. Most of the people don't know what they're doing. It's all about how you look at it. It's all about how you look at it, what you really know what you're doing. That's why these people mess up. That's why I had to get rid of it. See, the people that came behind who actually understand it, they understood the whole thing. When Oriol told y'all in the first chapter of the book they called Lou, he told you I understood that thing from the very first. When he said then he opened the understanding, they might understand the kid of being. Oriol wasn't there. He could have been. He told you, he said, I understood it from the very beginning. Hello? I'm telling you, he cried out to old Theopolis. He told him. He said, I understood this thing from the beginning. Because you had too many patterns to show you where it makes sense. One came first and he let you know this one got to separate. Because they're not in agreement. That's why he kind of tell you they can't hold a lot together. Left it be. And you learn that because he cut off from you. Because I don't agree with what you're doing. Hello? Okay. I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying to help. I appreciate provisions. That's what he did, provisions. He made provisions. Because he tried to show you first why these people that tried to get in by the tour, I don't know what they're trying to do. You couldn't get in by it. It didn't make provisions. It never made provisions for, it couldn't make a vision for ever and ever without it. It couldn't do it. All the best you can get is length of days. I don't know where they get it from. That's all you can do, length of days. Hello? If it made the provision of what they said, he should never told Adam about dying. The Lord should already have provisions in it. The Lord didn't have no provision for ever and ever. The day when you do it. What happened, son? He said, if by chance. I already know what you're going to do. Because the line ain't going to make no provision for you. So as you do it, you're going to die. Even you obeying your parents, that you, that you can live for how long? Ever and ever? That's how I do it. The best I can give you is prolong. It's something else I meant to do. The doctor, he said, what can I do? They said, I mean, it's on a cup that I do. We can probably prolong it a little longer, or we can just make you comfortable. That, <laughs> you know what you're who are doing? He's just making us comfortable. Sometimes they do, they give you what they call a, a sedative. Something just kind of happened. Listen, y'all know what's going around these people panicking. Man, you heard them gave us a sedative. Yeah. Let, man, let me tell you something. Crime at an all time high. Y'all, this morning, they just had, I don't know if you picked, they had, a, they had, a, uh, they had a, uh, several mass shooters up. They had a bunch of shooters in Philadelphia today. Most of y'all don't know nothing about it. Oh, yeah, they, they had some shooting in several places. Y'all know why these people doing this? He don't talk, you ain't going to believe it who told you. He said because of nickel they were going to work that about stay, or you gonna become more violent. He said, go ahead with the, with the Harbor Minute. Oh, that's cold. These people cold, man, these folks, listen, they ain't scared of no police, all that stuff over there. Poly, poly, man, after the poly. Ice Cube sung it, these yeah. folks doing it. Yep, that's right, that's Ice right. Ice Cube ain't never did that no police. That's right. that's he right. might've fought, he might've artificially inseminated white, talking about elder police, man, stop <laughs> it. 
I ain't gonna lie though, but he's the best looking gangster on the movie I ever seen. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't seen no gang member look better than he did. That's right. So, That's man, right. with that Raider cap, now I ain't gonna lie. Now on the TV, I'm scared of him. <laughs> TV, I'm scared of him. With that, with that Raider cap, with a 40 in his hand, with them crayons on kicking and come out like under him. <laughs> scared of him. Ain't right? All That's Hollywood. Right. But once I sit that day, he get mad, and I see that eyeliner run. I was like, hey, you tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be it, isn't it? That's it, man. He got on that white beater boy and that foundation smeared down on his white teeth. <laughs> hey, you tricked me. Yeah, that stuff gets you. These folks make a mess. These he folks crazy. I'm trying to tell you, all he got so many people out here for us, too, now. You don't know how to do it. He got somebody to kill you. Um, I think it was also just tell me, he said Isaiah said he was on that train with a guy. Now, I don't know how he wound up getting. He he was fighting it, fighting the guy on that train. That's the train he usually take. I meant, but he wound up taking a different train that day. We we'll just show you that the gentleman on the train. You seen that? Where the gentleman was on the train, he was fighting the guy. Luckily, the guy was Hispanic. He was beating the girlfriend. Stabbed him in the back. I saw I saw his back. I saw you can see a little bit. He kept fighting. His back was just getting wet. He got his coat, got his gun out, and he had him up against. They were like. Like you can go through the train doors to go through the door to another rail car. And that thing now that the person had to, they took it out, he wound up getting a gun, and took it, getting shot in the head. Now he critical. New York not pressing no charges. They need to press charges on Huffer stabbing him in the back with that knife. Mm -hmm. But I guess they're gonna buy Pat, they're gonna look he had a gun. But see, then he had Jeff broke into the train. He just came in the exit door. They sick of out the sick of the people breaking in him, riding for free. New York need that money. New York, honestly, it's up to me, man. I shut down New York. New Jersey, Philadelphia, <coughs> California. I closed the doors on all of them. They too, y'all, y'all too far gone. They too far gone. I'm just, they too far gone. Man, too many movies. They got, they folk, they, they folk don't be, a lot of stuff they do don't think. And y'all don't come down this side. Don't come down here. Please go back home. Man, we have our stuff. Man, we the hell like. Man, I remember growing up, man, we had one shooter. It been on the news for three weeks. When I was in the set, one killing. It would be on the news for three weeks. And you were like, man, it bad out there. Man, you can, a news statement, boy, you have something. And then it was somewhere else then. Now it's right here. Right here. It be your next door. You look at, you look at the news and you see your apartment. You like, then you see your address. You see your door. You're like, hold on, Blake. Didn't they door to me? They got your car here in the window shop. You're like, that look, that's my car. The news show you running out the window. Man, it's, it's scary, man. Man, it's, it's scary. It's nowhere safe. And you know, people keep trying to run to try to find somewhere. Ain't nobody safe. At times, they make sure you're right. Man, we, we, nobody never lived in a world like that. Don't, don't believe these folks. Ain't nobody living no stuff. Man, I come, don't listen to all that. I grow to, shut your mouth. The world worse than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. And all of them, I grow to, I mean, I've been some of the crazy folks. These are whole nother different folks out here. These folks stupid. If I jump out no cars, just shooting up no apartment. Why? Just lighting up no apartment so it wasn't no doing AK 47. <clears throat> never seen no stupid stuff like that. Man, we were fighting for we're going after people who they had to beef with. What was here shooting up no whole apartment just trying to kill anybody in no apartment? These kids so stupid, don't make sense. Yeah. But that's what, you know I got to blame? These single mothers who let these kids get loose. These sorry dad that walk off and leave. Oh, they know who it is. These, these kids come from a home. Mama trying to get a man. She ain't even worried about a kid. Let me tell you a first part. Lock them kids down. Yeah. You're going to get your kid and your kid going to get killed now. Your kid gonna make the wrong decision. They wanna go to somebody to church town. I'm not going to your kid and kill on phone. I'm never gonna understand. I ain't Fanny Willis' daddy. Don't make right. no fool out of myself. <laughs> That's right. Tell him I ain't even got no law license. I'll take my own if I get up here and make a fool out. I ain't gonna understand like no fool for nobody. Tell you forget that one. I already, man, I've been to court too many. Them folks start asking you quick and I know I've done it. They only ask it because they know something. Yep. These two folks, no. Okay, perjury. They keep moving. We just keep working up charges on you. We're going to lock you down. Everything you say is going to be inadmissible. Your truth ain't going to be no good now. Mm -hmm. They put you there. Listen, when them folks start asking you something, they ask you three different ways. They only time you up because they try to make sure you can't say you ain't understand the question. Right. They're going to bring back up and say, Yana, when we have them to read it back, we ask them three different times, and on three different <coughs> occasions, they answer the same answer. They're going to lock you in. Like Fanny, if she, had any, if she had any integrity, she'll step down her own. Yeah. I wouldn't even drag yeah. that case out. Yes, yeah, right. I wouldn't even drag it out because you look bad. They look bad. I told my wife, I think, yes, she probably heard me. Black women. That's one of y'all pride things. You'll let your pride hurt you. Try to go to prove yourself against a man. Get some integrity. She look, it ain't all of y'all. It ain't all y'all. She said, make, see, they're going to they're gonna fault you. It's like the white lady Karen. She made white women look bad. Mm -hmm. It ain't every, ain't no every white woman running around blaming no black man. 
Just stop. It's some white women sitting here testify for a black guy to help say they're behind and say they didn't do it. So sometimes we bad about blaming everybody. The, the quote unquote black woman, she's not no black woman. She's not no bad woman. Don't, don't let folk, don't buy into that psychosis. Black women bad. And the guys say that they're homosexual. Right. Yeah. They're homosexual against black women. It makes no sense. Can't blame no all black. That's retarded. Your mama black. That's retarded. Some stuff guys say be homosexual statement. Y'all stop saying stuff. Don't say it to make a sign you don't want no, no meow. <laughs> That's why Oprah out here telling everything. That's up. right. <laughs> One time I seen Oprah, I said, how you doing? Oprah, watch this. She said, I said, but I like it. She said, I ain't what wrong with you. She drew a picture of uh, uh, feline. She said, Got my tongue. <laughs> Cat got my tongue. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Somebody's gonna draw one day. I hope she don't call me like Shannon Shaw went after Mike Epps. Quit lying. I ain't never cleaned him. He felt violent out him. Y'all don't think Oprah called with him. I bet she got a mean punch. <laughs> Y'all ain't never seen about Y'all tell us something. Y'all ain't never seen about talking about trying to fight Oprah Heading. I'm trying to tell you now. Man, over unstrap that and lay that thing, pull that thing. <laughs> yeah, get the other end of it. Take that thing and go set that thing up. Now, what you trying to do? <laughs> get carry that thing in a casket. Man, you don't remember? <laughs> Listen, you got a bulldog and she carry that thing in a casket. Man, you don't want to fight her. <laughs> Man, that thing dead. You better leave it alone. <laughs> you know what I tell her? Man, kill that. <laughs> Y'all don't get it. Casket, kill that. I hope Cat Will. I'm gonna go like Cat. I'm gonna. I know somebody gonna try to steal it. Cat Will is a strange looking fella. I don't know what these folks got. I seen so many strange looking fella talking about. I mean, let me tell you something, Cat Will. This didn't mean. I don't. I can't believe everything these folks say. I ain't know everybody in the world done stole from you, Cat. I know they they blackball Cat put Cat out. I believe that. Cat said, but Cat has some problems his own too, and he needs to admit his own problem. Don't waste his time. Dave Chappelle says that I can I can agree with on him. He said, y'all never say nothing about these white guys. Y'all spend all y'all time trying to tell. He told him, he said, I rock with Cat. He said, I just don't get it. He said, I went broke. He said, I never called none of these people out. I never threw these guys. We are bad about destroying each other. Do I think we should call the bad ones to the front? Yes. But some fights ain't no fight. He got one joke. He said, in town. He said I, I give you that one joke. He said, what are we going to do with the other 40 some movies I did? What we gonna, that's he said, I give you a joke. Say I took the one joke. What are we going to do about the other 40-some movies I made? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do about all the other stuff I've done? So people borrow from people all the time. People take, Dave Chappelle took some of my stuff, a white guy, and recreated it. Sometimes we might say something funny to them. <laughs> y'all, y'all, Dave Chappelle, oh yeah, Dave Chappelle don't borrow a joke from the phone. Talking about that one riding down the street, talking about all of them in the car, them and lesbians and all of them. Yeah. And the gays get to live and they hot, they want to do something. And, yeah, he took that from a white guy. They show the white guy doing the whole skit. Everybody done barbs about Michael Jackson stuff. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Blame it on the boogie. Mm -hmm. There's another Michael Jackson in England sung it first. Yeah, Mike just got his out two weeks before he could release it. Oh, Mike did better. Listen, Mike saved his life. <laughs> oh, I'm blaming on the sunshine. No, I'm blaming on the boogie. I mean, wait a minute. Man, he, all that man gonna do, that record gonna get destroyed. When Mike gets your stuff, your stuff gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Man, Mike said he danced so hard his feet were hurting. He had he blisters on his feet. He said he just couldn't control his feet. Mike sung that thing. Yeah. So there's some stuff people said. Luther Vandross stole everything he ever sung. Yeah. Man, Luther, better not let Luther hear your stuff. <laughs> Can't we be glad he wasn't singing? Luther took a oh, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right? Yes, sir. Better not let Luther hear <laughs> If I write something, Luther, I said, get back, Luther. <laughs> A chair is still a chair. Man, when a nigga can sing about furniture in the house, put tears in your eyes. Yes, sir. That's the truth, even when nobody's sitting there. When that man, but he get to a house, ain't a home, and you. <laughs> Yo, give me a Give me a minute. <laughs> Woo! I got Y'all give me a minute, Robert. <laughs> Woo! Man, when Luther sang it, woo! Yes, sir. You don't see too many folks try to re no Luther. No, sir. That's suicide. <laughs> That's suicide. Freddie Jackson was doing good one time. No, oh, honey, can't wait. You are my lady. Yes, sir. Then it was a man. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> That's right. All he did was just make them homosexual just fester. 
He said, Fred, I don't feel right, us two men. You are my lady. <laughs> that man tried his best to break it off with him. I don't feel right, Fred. He said, I don't feel right, Fred. <laughs> he said, I ain't got everything I need anymore. Mess that man up, boy. He was going to go back to Hawaii, man. I'm telling you, he got, y'all ain't want, okay, check, check, check. John, you good. It's some, I said, a bunch of checks coming up here. Mix, you all right? <laughs> Meets on that long delay. <clears throat> Man, we get through by the time we finish going there and eat, and everybody get ready to clean up, go home. Me, get up and be. <laughs> 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 that man on so much delay. <laughs> we been at home. <laughs> Man, that delay long. Man, y'all folk crazy. Listen, y'all some crazy people. All right, we're going to try to get back to work. Man, I, I can't see. Y'all get people going. I got to watch y'all. Y'all got me off my word. Come on. Y'all got me off my word. 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 Come on. Woo! So we dealt with teachers, right? So that through? Endurance. That's tight. That's tight. How many times y'all done heard this? Y'all, y'all had to think that over every time. I want to get muscle memory. I want y'all to, because I really want y'all to understand the basis for what we're doing. I don't want y'all to just follow along. This right now, where you guys at, my young people, you guys are here because this is where your parents go. This is where they go. So you're going to attend where they go, okay? This is the same thing we had to do when we were kids when we went to where we went to. The, the, what we're doing differently with you guys <clears throat> is I want you guys to know why you're here. I want you to know why you serve Yahuwah, the existing one. That's his name, the existing one, okay? The fact that he said he's the existing one, what is he saying about every other God? So you need to, so, I mean, it's the thing you said, because think about it. What, so why are you saying, like, if I sit here and I say I exist, so are y'all amazed? Why not? That, that's what I need y'all to do, the thing, exactly. So when he tell you I'm the existing one, what is he saying? They don't exist. They don't exist. The only reason to tell you that I'm the existing one is to tell you that if it's anyone else that's claiming to be an Elohim, they don't exist. You need to know that. people, Because y'all start getting, well, I mean, you know, it's other gods too. So they don't exist. Right. Okay? Because <clears throat> you can't create your own Elohim. It just don't exist. Okay? That's what you want to know. It don't, they don't exist. Okay? They don't have the ability to do. All right? So we'll look at that since so we talked on it. I want my young people to know that. Listen, they didn't tell us nothing. We just sat, shut your behind you sat and you go to sleep on your mama. Then they just lean and go to sleep. Shut up. And don't snore in church. Man preaching. So we want y'all to understand why you're here. We want you to understand why you Shakar, which is, y'all remember what Shakar is? To do what now? Right choice motors? What did he say? <laughs> did he say right choice motor? What'd you say? Marks and mobile. Oh, no, no, no. Man, I didn't know what you were saying. Slow it down, just take, cut the motor down a little bit. You hit the gas, so <laughs> that means that right choice motor. I said, no, no, no. Now that's good. Come by a car over. No. <laughs> so you get your money. And was, no, yeah, his mama's definitely going to tear it up. His mama can tear up a car looking at it. That girl locked the engine when she cut the car and put the key and locked the door. <laughs> it's rough, man. The engine like, I might well die now if I get on the street. How you doing, Puffy? You sleeping? You sleeping? Are you sleeping? Puffy? You not sleeping? You got to go to the bathroom? I'm glad. I don't have no, please don't do that. Do you come, try to bring your own tissue when you come. Because you go twice a day. I make sure you don't drop nothing on them in that room. If I was at the school sitting, I'd make you send some tissue to school with them. <laughs> Be like, man, we can't afford that kid. Cause really, y- y'all know school, really, I'm tired of school work to keep kids from using the bathroom. You don't really put tissue in every stall. This is for a reason. Why well, ain't no soap up here? Because you can pee and go, like, what y'all doing? If you ain't doing that, you really ain't got to wash your hands. You just eat. <laughs> no, yeah, they ate. But now, they try to show you, I don't want no soap. That way you can't do that. That means go home. Hold it till you go home. The school is designed for you not to use the bathroom now. That's why it stank at the urinal. <laughs> go home. I'm trying to tell you, they want you to go home. They don't want you there. Hello? They put soap and tissue and that nice tissue rub and they don't tear up, you gonna come back like your brother. <clears throat> isn't that right? School is trying to get them out of there, isn't it? Man, they were so happy when that home school came up when COVID came. Man, listen, they had an influx of tissue. 
And spread the school where your brother go. <laughs> man, they, they were just getting people raisins. <laughs> Isn't that right? They were like, man, we are, they're like, we're saving so much money on sanitary stuff. <laughs> then they owned back up. They saw the usage. All right. So that, now we're going through so we can through. Did Nakoon. We covered patient? Yes, sir. Not quitting? Yes, sir. I didn't hear them say not quit. Don't quit. Y'all said it. Who said it? That man said right truck motors. <laughs> That was Chicago. I was talking about Chicago. Did y'all say, y'all did not say patient, did you? A reward. Y'all say that? Consolation? We're talking about patient, not quitting. Did y'all talk about not quitting? I did not hear y'all say don't quit. Who said don't quit? When you said it? Come up here. I couldn't hear you right there and I can hear you out that door hot and they know where you at. I thought you was a spirit. <laughs> I probably forgot. Put a check up there. <laughs> I will don't forget. Don't you think I'll remember if I forgot it? <laughs> What's wrong with them? You put one up for your daddy. I couldn't. Yeah. I remember if I forgot it. Isn't that right? So now, back to what we were talking about, don't quit. Don't stop till you get enough. Who signed that? Them them kids, who signed that? Who signed, who signed that? Yeah, I know you ain't know everything. Don't quit and through the... The coon. What is it, collar? What you saying? Comfort. Reward. Yeah, reward, prize, the comfort. Come on. Oh, the kid to be. Or the, or the who? Come in for a minute. Come on, let you know. <laughs> what you doing? Back just a tad. There we go. What that was? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you might have happened. Is there something in the middle? Go put a check on that boy. Come on, come on. Y'all all right? All of a sudden, then we're going to start checking the kid for spinal bifida. <laughs> if any of y'all feel like y'all got it, don't, don't worry about what it is. We'll let you know if you got it. Get $5 out your parent pocket, pocket with something. Bring it, and we're going to check out. We'll do a special for y'all. Find you can't find your name. Find your mama name. It should be. They're gonna be cricket, like she drive. So, that's, so here, what we might have? Tikva. That's right. Rope. And what that represent? Who? What that represent? Robert. What that what that represent? The court. Attachment. No, it's hope. I'm trying to think about it like this. If you were down in, a, in a, down in a hole, right? You didn't have a ladder or anything to climb out. So typically, you don't have somebody to pull you out. If somebody dropped a rope down now, you know what I'm saying? They give you hope that you can get out now. Nobody's giving you a hand. You don't have a ladder to get out. You can't climb your way out. So when somebody drop a rope down, it signifies hope, right. right? This is my opportunity to get out. So when y'all, when we going over this with the foundation, I need y'all to understand exactly how they saw this. Like they said, hope is a feeling of, no, they didn't understand that stuff. They knew what it came, they know how they felt when they looked at, I can finally get out of my situation. That what Yahushua represented to us. Now, for us in the Aubrey language, it would be the gun. The gun is a twisted rope. They don't typically <clears throat> use, that's one of the Beth that's rarely used, but for them, what they use for their language or to, um, to to composite or put together a language, they use the olive beth. And they use things that they typically used in their everyday living, which helped them in a lot of aspects when it came down to understanding. I'm, I'm a, a proponent for the earlier writing simply because it was things they knew. In order to communicate with people and get them to understand, they are going to need to know something. The Aubrey word for that would be yada, Y-A-D-A, yada is to know. So 
in order for them to know him, he gave them things that were symbolic. Things that they would, you, it would be things they used on a constant. Things that they would be familiar with the behavior. So that way they would be familiar with Yahuwah. You're trying to familiarize somebody with something they cannot see, hear on a regular basis, touch or feel, but you can create the emotion is felt through understanding him. Just like, how do you create an affection for, uh, I got Chanel pregnant, Sandy, um, Chelsea. Mm. Okay, these ladies are pregnant, right? Have you guys seen the baby? I'm talking about, I'm not, not the, not the, um, not the, the, the actual, I'm talking about not the ultrasound. Have you seen the baby? Have y'all held the baby? Have you embraced and kissed the baby? Has the baby talked to you guys? Yet, does the baby exist? And you know how they know it? Through emotions, through feelings. Y'all got what I'm saying? So when people try to tell you about Elohim and Harbin, loving something that you can't see, can't touch, can't do all these things they're saying you can do, yet they do it to the baby. Have you guys found yourself talking to the baby? That's amazing. And the baby talked back to you. But you know it exists. And the people will make you think that you're some kind of fool when you're talking to you. And I know he exists because of the feeling. You see what I'm saying? See, the, the, the invisible things are Elohim. Clearly seen. You see, y'all just saw it. Invisible. So don't tell me you can't. Now, guess what they're waiting for? On that day of the appearance, guess what we're doing? Same thing. So all the things that people claim they can't understand is because they don't want to. Yeah. If you want to be an idiot, you can be an idiot. But let's just be practical. Everything I say is not theoretical. This is practical. That there are things that it causes. Now, with your heart, there are some suffering. There are some things. And he even told you, any man will come after me, what he has to do? Yes. Guess what these women have to do? They have to <clears throat> deny themselves. And they had to take up their suffering for their baby every day. Y'all yeah. got it. The reward comes when the baby comes out. It pays for all of the suffering. It pays for the, all the things that made them sick. Because think about it, there are things they have to resist now. Guess what we have to do in order to be to receive your hood? You got to resist some things. So people don't mind, I just can't see my stuff stop doing. It's some foods you got, you ladies typically like that you just can't stand the taste, can't do, can it? And guess why? Because of the baby. You ain't going to believe it. I love smoking, I love drinking. But I have to resist it. You ain't going to believe it. Because of the lad. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. It's all about what people want to do. See, y'all get in the conversation with people. I don't waste my time trying to spread people. Listen, I don't try to preach to people. I see my cousin. I ain't preaching no man. Listen, you, you where you at for a reason. Listen, if a man going to come at me, I know what he's going to do. You have to deny yourself. That's right. That's not where you at. I ain't trying to force nothing on nobody. Listen, when I came, nobody forced nothing on me. That's right. And I, and I refused to force it on somebody else. Yep. Y'all got it. This is my own will. Now, you ladies, when it came down to you ladies becoming impregnated. Now, I know... Was this something where you forcibly raped? This was something that you indulged into in order for it to happen. Guess what? <laughs> I did this thing willingly. I know someone probably said, well, I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but something was going to happen. <laughs> so the same thing happened with, guess what? When you open to a relationship, listen, when, you open, when you're open to a relationship with you, something's going to happen. That's just being practical. Something's going to happen. That's just, I'm just being honest. Something's going to happen, but you got to be receptive. You got to be receptive. And that's the thing that you have to look at when it comes to salvation. A lot of times people do a lot of wrestling in their mind because you try to use too many theoretical examples and things that don't really exist or not practical when you're trying to look at, trying to correlate it with your whore. For me, I just keep it practical. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to go all out the way and try to get no rocks and throw them or drag them up no hill to see nothing. I mean, it's clearly seen. Yeah, these ladies are tech. Let me say, y'all don't have any feelings for that baby. The baby y'all can't see, y'all don't have any feelings for it, any care for it, any love for it. Why I can't have it for you? People say it's impractical what I'm doing, but it's not impractical. This is why he allowed these things to happen. So you can see, it's, listen, there's evidence behind his existence. Just like these, is it not evidence? Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to get the people to say. It's evidence. But you guys just got to be willing, just got to be open. While, while we talk, let, 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 we didn't finish last night anyway, did we? I thought we had some good subject matter. Don't y'all think it was? Well, let's see how you who are working. Now, I can't say we'll stay with the same thing. It's up to my boss. We was at um, Galatians, the third chapter. Galatians 3. That's how that work out. Galatians chapter 3. That's how that work out. 
Go we went to several places. Let's see three and one. You lacking da'ath, Galatians. Y'all hear that? We talked about that. What did we say knowledge was? Yeah. A skill. What else? Yeah. Skill, facts. You lacking facts. So, that's right. That's good. So, acquired by education. And you know, he looked at education at Spring Run by being limited. That's the purpose of why he said they all got to be taught to me. That makes sense. So you lack it. Isn't that right? Come on, let's finish. Who has bewitched you with your paw that you should not obey the Amman? With your paw or their paw? Your paw. Oh, who has bewitched your paw? With your paw. Okay, that you should not Amman the Okay, obey the truth. Okay. Before whose? Um, after that Yahushua HaMashiach was executed as having And we talk about the eye, my young people. What, what, what's significant about the eye? Take knowledge. Appearance. That's right. Take appearance. You have somebody walk in. My, it takes, okay, somebody just walked in. <coughs> it took knowledge of that. Y'all got it? From the appearance. That's how we, we can acquire things through sight. Okay? So that's why he let them know through, you had information but then I guess some facts tend to come in and start to be lacking and somebody wind up uh, manipulating you in a sense the way you kind of bypass. You know what I'm saying? For us, we can't bypass it. You know, right, they're right, we gotta go straight. You know what I mean? That, see, the reason why I know that, and what, give me something what you can use to show not bypass and go straight through. Any relation, any correlation? How about when they came to the young? What was you gonna say? The Red Sea, yeah. When they came to the young, the other Red Sea. So when they came down, remember, they would have went a different way. He told them, he told them to go straight. Trying to let them know they couldn't deal. Remember, it may say, because they later they were told not to deviate to the left or the right. So what we're gonna really, you could say that, but let you be practical. When things get in your way, what do you do? Go around. You go around, right? But they were show, he told them no. He told them to keep going, proceed forward. See, it had to be solidified. Think about this. This was a natural situation, but so when situations come up, you start looking at really, how can I go around and still get this right? He said, you couldn't. I want you to go straight through. Yeah. I want you to see. He even told me, when you, but it wasn't like when I'm mounting your way, though. That's differently. Right? He told you, you can tell it be removed. Right. See, he was trying to show them <laughs> that when I prescribe something for you, that, for us, it, it, and it takes the relationship to get you to that point to where you actually um, believe it to the point of, like they said, we nodded them that do it again. Draw back. Draw back. <clears throat> he said, but we them that believe to the saving of the soul. So that, so a lot of y'all might wonder why you in the why you um, haven't received. You might want to look and see who you are. You might be under that drawback. He said, them that believe to the saving of the soul, they're willing to keep going. That's just being honest. Think about it. and situations coming out of life to, to, to prove that for us. I know everybody says, I don't want to say, but situation prove it. Anybody by mouth can say what they don't do or what they won't do, but a situation will prove it. He said, we nodded them that drawback. Let me hope we got real quick. Let's see that. pick that up. See if that's the 12th chapter, uh, 12, 13, 11. See if that's the 11th chapter of the book of um, Shemuel. Beth Shemuel, 12th chapter. Where they go here? Yeah. Where we gonna go? Best Shemuel, Second Samuel, chapter eleven. Oh, let, me see, let me see what verse eleven say. Let's see if I'm far enough. Let's see. Listen, Uriah said to Daoud, the Aaron and Yashural and Yehuda abide in booths, mm -hmm. and my Adun, Yoab, and the Abedim of my Adun are encamped in the open field. Shall I then go to my Beth to eat and to drink and to lie with my Isha? But your Kai and the Kai of your Nefash, I shall not do this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hear what that man looked at. He said that when he looked at. He looked at the, uh, the Haran. That's how, so you, now you understand what just, just this little small segment give us the idea of looking at. This is how, like for most people they saw it, it was just um, tablets. 
They were merely tablets with writings on them. The Aharon, the Aron is what they call the top of the box. This is where they stored things were sacred and they and they revered it and they had a, a care for it because they saw the significance of it. This is the same thing happened when people saw Yahushua. Because they could see the care that, that should have been displayed for him. They could see um, this man looked at with the people of Elohim were out fighting for his shim. The Aaron, it dwelt inside a, a tent. It didn't have a stable place of its own. And he looked at the nefasha, the arm, the people, and he looked at, and should I go in to my wife, I wouldn't do it. He attached, you remember we talked about when it came down to Yasakot, when it came down to your, uh, your cold, your Jacob, they call how his life was tied into the men. This, this man is showing you something about the same thing. He tied his life. This man got a wife. Nothing in the book said he didn't have a wife. Can, what was he going to do? No, he said, I'm sorry. Yeah, he didn't have a wife. Does. He's talking about a one, I'm sorry, the one that doesn't have a wife can serve Elohim better than he that have one. But this man is showing you right here with one. That, that didn't move nothing from him. Yeah. I mean, this, he, he broke no law. He's done it. The law set him up with food and wine. Well, Vichy would say he can go in with his wife and lock with her. <clears throat> that man looked at he never know why, too. He looked at, if I can get, if this, this is somewhere every one of us won't be. But we should be at least to an estate or a place to where the care of the things of Elohim should be, uh, should be more pressing for us. It's just like when it comes down to doing things for the Beth of Elohim, when it comes down to doing things for the people of Elohim, you guys are not, you know, not as a whole, but anybody, y'all kind of set yourself out. But this man looked at, that was his concern. Can we read that again? Yes, sir. Listen. Uriah said to Daoud, What did he say? The Aran of Yasharal and Yehuda abide in booths. Yeah, and stay in booths. You know what booths is? That's temporary. Not tent. A booth is different. That's what we mean in Soka. That's temporary. That's not, it may, he look, it's in a temporary, it need, to, he look, it need to be somewhere permanently affixed. And it's abiding in something that's temporary. What happened? And my Adon, Yoab, and the Abedim of my Adon are encamped in the open field. They're encamped in the open field. They out fighting. Uh-huh. Shall I then go to my Beth to eat and to drink and to lie with my Isha? Uh-huh. By your Kai and the Kai of your Nefash, I should not do this, do this thing. He said, man, with your life online, I wouldn't do it. That's how much he, that's how much care he had. I know and, and, and it takes something to be in this position. It's just being for all of us. Not that all of us couldn't, but just being practical. Everybody not really desirous to be, I don't want to be like so committed. I can't have fun and I can't be able to go places. And I like doing things and those things going to hurt you later. That's just being a lot of things y'all want going to hurt you later. You have to really condition yourself to where when the things of Elohim become the more pressing, more important, that's your reward. That's, 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 that's got to be your first love. I'm be honest with y'all. That's got to be your first love. There's things he'll still allow you and allot you to have, but when he's not that first pressing, you're going to wind up faltering somewhere else. And he'll let you see through other people. This man looked at the care of the arm, the people, the care of the things of Elohim became more important than his own wife. It came more important to him eating and drinking. And I know people, well, you know, there's people in the Bible. No, whatever was written the fourth time, what was it written for again? That's why I give y'all a basis for it. And this is this, and all these come up to show you why you're not where you need to be. Because this is not tell you what you can't do now. This is tell you what you have to start favoring the more of if you want things to work a certain in a certain criteria for you. He looked at all these things are happening. There are people with doubt. And he's looking at myself. This is not fitting for me. Listen. Then Daoud said to Uriah, What did he say to Uriah? Stay here today. Stay what? Oh, here today. Stay here today. Also and tomorrow. And tomorrow. I shall let you go. I shall let you go. So Uriah remained in Jerusalem on that yum mm -hmm. and on the morrow. Mm -hmm. Now Daoud called him and he ate and drank before him mm -hmm. and he made him drunk. And in the evening he went out to lie with on his bed mm -hmm. with his Adon's Abedin, yep. but he did not go down to his bed. Mm -hmm. And That's he came he to Well, he sat there after he got through eating and drinking. He didn't go down to his wife. He stayed right there with the other servants of Daoud. 
He went right down there. He laid with the servants of Adao. Most of us, we, we don't have that kind of intelligence. It's a kill. Let me tell you, other religions follow this pattern. Most people don't know um, the Indians, um, the Indian people, the cult. When they start building their temple, they don't go home. The ones that dedicated, they will not go home to their wife. Those temples take them about a year. You know they won't even go back to their businesses. Most of y'all don't know that. I know that because I had to deliver them stuff. I got to deal with them for a while. They won't even go to their businesses. Listen, they own businesses, hotel chains and stuff. You see the people you didn't know they hold. This guy, he was one day, he was telling me, he said, you see him? I like, he said he owned a chain of hotels. All of them, he owned a bunch of Brewsters. They own, listen, all these guys own stuff. They walk off from their businesses and let they, they other people keep it. They will not go back to it. So, now, some of them went home. It was other ones. They wouldn't go home. They would go in and they would sleep with the other ones. They slept inside. These people own several. You know what I'm saying? These people were doing very well. They wouldn't even go home. They would stay right there and they would sleep. And they would have another building they would have that they would construct. No, there ain't no big building. Most of the people slept on the floor on, on mattresses. They made pallets on the floor. Yeah, they would sleep there. They wouldn't even go home to their wives. They said, they said, <clears throat> and I asked them, they said, because they had to get that temple up. Everybody mimic you. Everybody follow you. That's their dedication to their Allahim. You guys will steal. Not every one of y'all. You don't pay your tithe. You don't pay nothing you're supposed to do. Yearly what we're supposed to do. Every time I gave you, gave you book for it. You, you'll love everything else other than you'll love the people of Allahim and the will of Allahim. You're dangerous people. And then, man, this is on the rim for your learning to show you where these people at. Listen. And it came to pass in the morning Dao wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by the hand of Uriah. That's what they did. He had written in the letter saying, what is place Uriah in the front line of the fierce, fierce battle and withdraw from him. You hear what they told him? Put him where? Put him somewhere, just put him somewhere where they fighting at? In the front line. Oh, don't forget. And, and put him in the hottest battle. That's right. Put him in the hottest. What happened? So that he may be struck down and moot. So he can be struck down and die. Listen. And it came to pass when what? Joab kept watch on the city mm -hmm. that he put Uriah at the Malcolm where he knew that there was, that there were valiant Anashim. So that, he put him where he knew some, some great men were at. What happened? The Anashim of the city went out and fought against Joab. Yep. And some of the arm among Daoud's Abedim fell. Mm -hmm. And Uriah the Kittite also moot. And he died. Uh huh. Then Joab Shalak and reported to Daoud all the matter matters of the war. Yeah. He charged the Malachi saying, the when, you, uh -huh. "When you have finished telling all the matters of the war to the Malak, then it shall be if the Malak's wrath rises and he says to you, Why did you go so near to the city to fight? Yeah. Did you not know that they?" would shoot from the wall yeah. who struck down Abimelech, the bin of Yeru, Yerubasheth, mm -hmm. did not in a shah throw a piece of a millstone on him from the wall so that he moot at Thibet's. Why do you go so near to the wall? Mm. Then you shall say, your Abad, Uriah, the Kittite, is moot also. Yeah. So the Malachi departed and came and reported to Daoud all that Joab had shalak him. Yeah. The Malachi said to Daoud that the Anashim prevailed against us and yeah. came out against us in the field, mm -hmm. but we were upon them upon the entrance of the gate. Yeah. Moreover, the archers shot at your Abedim from the wall. Yeah. Some of the Mal Malachi, some of the Malak's Abedim are moot, and your Abad, Uriah, the Kittite, is also moot. Mm -hmm. Then Dau said to the Malachi, what did he tell him? Thus you shall say to Joab, Why were you so near the wall? Let you not, know they will strike? Let not this thing displease in your own. Don't For let the it be sword the devours own. one yeah. as well as another. That's all it is. It's that time and chance happen to them all. It's how people use what they want to use. And they can make time and chance happen to them all. What did he tell them to do? Make your battle against the city stronger uh -huh. and overthrow it, and so encourage him. That's what he told him, and encourage him. So that's how we learn about we're not of them that draw back. See, a lot of y'all in him, you don't have to never worry about that. Y'all quit before the battle even start. A lot of y'all quitters, you draw back before they even start. On the camera too up now. 
So you don't never have to worry. Don't, don't ever get, only written just show you where you ought to be. Y'all hear me? That's why I don't back off. That's why I don't, that's why I don't draw back from it, I don't move, because I'm not of them that draw back. Y'all hear me? Yes, I'm just telling you right how to do it. You have to look at it. I am not of them that draw back. I know my life on the line. But at the same time, I can't draw back from it. That's where he was at. When he told you we're not of them that draw back, got that from Uriah. You think Uriah didn't know that was the hottest spot? He been out there fighting too. Yep. He been in the battle. He wanted to go back out in the battle. That's why he wasn't going to his wife. He know what happened. He getting that white man start hugging, loving that white <clears> man. He ain't gonna be able to go. Mm-hmm. No, he said my love was sitting out here. But look what he went to die for. And, and one thing about it, he'll be able to pick his life back up. What about you? That's right. That's right. He he didn't try to seek to save here. That what he did. He went in that wife. He tried to look at it. and she would talk. I don't want you to go out there. You want to get killed or something? I'd be by myself. And he said, Yeah. He said, You gonna die anyway if you're trying to seek to save your life. He knew he need to be. I just said that y'all was on the Iron Man. He let y'all fly home for the weekend. What y'all want? Man, ain't about to going back, man. They know, man, yeah, yeah, God, yeah. They ain't never going back. <laughs> about to going back out there. They know, ain't no way. Where you going back? You leaving out that battle? Ain't nobody going back? Like, no, I'm not going back. You right, your heart. Well, he left though. He look, I'm going back. Mm-hmm. You can give me all you want to eat and drink. I'm going back. Yeah. Ain't that right? That's where his heart was at. If I, if I could get y'all to, to, to really regulate your mind, and look at how important of where we got to be now. Uh, we're in a later part of this situation. It's only going to get worse. Uh, in the midst of it, he's giving us some nakoon. We're, we're in a bad situation. It, it, it's terrible. Y'all have no idea. It's terrible out here. It's going to get worse. And it's so important for us to uh, interlock ourselves together and be mindful of things, to uh, be conscious of things, because it's going to get even worse than this. And you got to be willing not to back up. A lot of you already have. You already done draw back. So you can't go no further. You'll fall off a cliff. But being honest, it's just being honest for those of y'all that standing. You need to interlock yourself and, and, and make sure you're on something solid. Because mm-hmm. you know you're going to back up. <clears throat> he done told you. If any man draw back, he said, my soul got no pleasure in him. I'm telling y'all the truth now. He told you. He said, if any man draw back, he said, my soul had no pleasure in him. Mm-hmm. He had no pleasure in none of them guys that drew back. Mm-hmm. So y'all had to have y'all mindset, even for that cool. And your battle ain't going to have to be a, a physical battle. But physically, it would be the fact that you're fighting, resisting things that you typically would do fighting against, you know, mentalities and other disciplines you locked yourself into. Those are some of your hardest battles, and you draw back. Well, you know, I got to kind of get back. I, I got to kind of get, like I do, I kind of in and out, in and out. You can't you can't do that. I can't do it. I don't know how y'all do it. I had to stay in. That's right. I just be honest. I have to stay in. And, and this, yeah, yeah, it's sin. He said, we not of them that draw back. That's right. Because why would I do it? He just told me, he said, my nefash ain't going to have no pleasure in it. That's right. That means everything I've done you, he said he's not going to do it. Hold on, 15, 22 right quick. Who know what I want? Who? Nakai? Olive Shemuel. What that book he called? I ain't even heard of it. It's one of them law books. Your cause of God. Olive Shemuel. First Samuel, they call it. Fifteen twenty-two. Listen, Shemuel said, "Has Yahuwah as much delight?" Oh, that's a tie. He said, "Any man draw back, what is that gonna happen?" And then he want to know that does Yahuwah have much delight? That's right. At doing what? In burnt offerings and zabak, as in obeying the call of Yahuwah. Behold, to obey is better than zabak, and to heed than that than the fat of ram. See that? He's trying to tell you right now what you had to do. Listen to what else happened. We'll tie this into Galatia too. Listen. For rebellion is as the kata of witchcraft. Mm. He want to know who bewitched him. Because if you, let me ask you a question. If you're not obeying it, what you doing? You're practicing witchcraft. They want to right. know who bewitched you. Because you're not obeying. A lot of y'all have been bewitched. And he had no pleasure in that you do. See, that's, these are things y'all need to consider. See, he let them know, because he just told you, any man draw back, he said, my soul don't have no pleasure in him. And he let you know, does Yahuwah have delight and burnt offering sacrifices? Is that equivalent, is, is that the same equivalent as an obeying? See, when Yahushua became the Zabat, so think about it. For people, what do y'all think we typically look at he had pleasure in? Obedient? No, the sacrifices. Think about it. I commit sin, what I had to offer. So what is he pleased with? 
He pleaded with the sacrifices. So the sacrifices cover my sin. So he was trying to break up. He was trying to break a stigma they taking off. Think about it. If I commit sin, all I do is bring, and he's pleased with. So that's what he got pleasure in. Then he told you, no, I got pleasure in uh, obeying. That's right. You see, well, because that was our, what's the conception? Think about what because the people, you know, it's, people try to think they're smart. They're dumb. Why would they think that? I'm trying to think why you so dumb. When I say you, all of us, because he was trying to break something that they had taken on as all I have to do is give him something that he likes. So this would go, this would uh, counteract what I've been doing. So let's just right quick. See that six and seven, Mickey. They call it Micah. Make y'all six and seven. That little thing got a little rattle. Shake, rattle and roll. Ah, ah, ah. Listen. Make y'all six and seven. Yes, sir. Listen. Does Yahuwah take delight in thousands of rams? Ooh, I want to get that from. Does Yahuwah take delight in thousands of rams? Yes, sir. Uh huh. In 10,000 Nahar of oil. Oh, 10,000 rivers of oil? Go ahead. Shall I prevent, present my firstborn for my rebellious acts? See that? Shall I present the firstborn? Because see, everything that brought the, broke the matrix, the firstborn, that would be dedicated to Yahuwah. <clears throat> so whatever you had first, the first to enter the flock, and that's what we always get him the first. The first that break the matrix came out from the womb, we gave it, that's his first. That's how we start learning about giving him his first. How's we gonna learn it? Whatever came out the womb, listen, whatever came out the womb first, that was his. That was his. That's why he, see, that's why when he went, he told him, he told him when he told Mizraim, when he tried to tell Pharaoh to let him go, he told him why. He said, Yasharal is my, see, my, my firstborn. He's my firstborn. And the only way he was able to do that, he was able to get rid of somebody. Asu. That's why I told you cold by heart. He said, I hate Asu. He separated them. See, the whole time he'd been trying to show you how he could separate the two. Asu would have been the first according to what? The Torah. Am I correct? Yes, so how did you go and take this one? Because of Rakam. Because of Khan. I favored him. See, the, <laughs> These people be sitting around, these folk be trying to worry about trying to jump in these tribes and run all these folk. Everybody trying to prove what tribe they in. Just prove you live right. Yeah. I sure you ain't no one tribe gonna be in the Malku. And he told you, you're gonna tell, he said, I seen a number, no man could even number. He had a number on these folk. He's the only folk, it wasn't no number on them. He said, they came from every kin and every tongue. Just like Uriah. You read about a man, Uriah was not Yehudi. He clearly told you what he was. He was a Hittite. Yeah, he favored the man. I don't know these people. So, and, and it's us, because this, this is what we have to pull. pull. Pull the male fact out. The male fact, I'm talking about, is us. They pull out the color, they pull out whether we're from the island, they pull out from there. Regardless of what, we are here only because of kind. That's what he tried to show. The tour did a lot for this. The tour did a lot for this race mixing. Because if it weren't for, if we were still tour, we'd done anyway. Because yeah. our father would have to put away these strange women. That's right. They couldn't keep that. And the, I'm sorry. And the kids. That's right. Based off of who? Abraham. Abraham. Because it didn't make sense. What did it look like? Get, send the kid and leave the mama. No. Get both of them out. Disinherit both. That's what, what would make me draw to, to the conclusion or draw to the affection that I have their heart for the promise over the Torah? Because the Torah was death. The tour of death. Only reason I draw, only reason I draw to recome is life. Man, everything I did under the tour was death. Re the promise is what gave me life. That's the difference with the two covenants. When I set before you, what that was? Baraka, life, choose. Why would I pick the law? <laughs> huh? He 
told him in the 15th chapter book of Allah, uh, Allah, Allah Shamu, he said, if these folk do that, he said, I'm, if you sin, he said, I'm going to put a disease on you. That was the law. You know how many times I disobeyed? Because of faith, because he favored, because of recon, undeserved favor. Why would I choose the law? The law kill it. He said, the letter kill it. He said, the rod what gay life. Uh, I'm trying to help y'all out to see. So we, we can see this. This, this, this. this is conversation we have. So we understand this. So listen to what he asked for. The pari of my basar for the kata of my nafash. Say the fruit of my body. So what did he just say? Hands, hands, <clears throat> hands. What did he recognize? Seed. Seed what? His seed. Well, in itself. In itself. He gonna repeat it. As I said, he gonna... <laughs> Boy, that's some dirty white stuff you just pulled in. It ain't bounce. I admit that thing don't be bounce. Not crazy. <laughs> not, you know, but but that's it. So he see, pay attention. He just said the seed of my body. He could only be taking that he was an ox. A tree. Remember in Barashit, when he made the tree, he said, whose seed? Seed itself. So this couldn't be a female talking. This would have to be a male. And he's, he's, he's acknowledging that he is an ox. So when Yahushua anointed the man, when he Mashiach the man's eyes, and he said, I see men as ox. Was, he, was his sight really off? Mm. When Yahushua told you he was the true vine? Right. Could, was the man's sight really off? Yeah. Couldn't have been. And when you go back to the tour in the book of Shaphatim, he started telling you he was going to put a tree over the people. Amazing. He started telling you about the Brahma bush and putting them all over, right. putting the ox over the people. So we have been, so everything that happened, he would make a statements. These people knew culture. Mm. They knew Barashit, that the seed is in itself. When he would tell you about who he was and what he came to do, he was letting you know, it's in me. Okay. Okay. He tried to tell you that he was in the Father. And the Father was in him. He was trying to tell you I was in the ox. Isn't that right? I came out from the ox. If he came out from the father, he's, in, he's trying to let you know, I'm the seed. The obvious, the tree. See, it's just things in statement. That's why I say you have to know them culturally and pay attention to their statement because more is being said than what you think. Okay? Yes, Let's see what he said. He, he has declared to you, O Ish, what is two. See that? He done already declared to you what is two. That's why you read, in, that's why you read uh, all of Shemuel 15 to 22. Listen. And what does Yahuwah require of you? See, what does Yahuwah require but to do what? To do Sadat. Do Sadat? Has and Yahuwah a great delight and burn off his sacrifice as in obeying? That's right. Listen. To Ahab concede and to Halak humbly with your all. Oh, what happened? The call of Yahuwah shall call the to the city. The sound of Yahuwah is going to call out. And listen. And sound Kakma, one shall see your shem. The sign of wisdom? Yes, sir. One shall see your what? Your shem. That's why, they, that's why the 19th chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo, your Ukana, 1919. Nineteen nineteen. Listen. You're They call it John nineteen nineteen. Yes, sir. Listen. Pelotus wrote a ta wrote a tablet and placed it on the crucifixion. This was the wording of its inscription. This was the wording of the inscription. Yahushua the Nasri Malak of the Yaudin. That's what he said. What was the inscription? Yahushua, the Nasri Malak of the Yaudin. Yahushua who now? The Nasri. The Nasri, which was the branch. You know why that made sense? Because they hung him on a tree. Mm -hmm. These people too dumb to realize it. The man just told you how he was a branch. Where does a branch typically be at? On a tree. That's why they hung him on a tree, because it made sense, because he told you he was the branch. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Go figure. Why they hung him up on a tree? Cause he was a transgressor. I know, I know. He only implemented that law and told you he was the branch cause a man that had wisdom is going to know better than you do. 
Uh huh. You know, I'm gonna tell you. You know who you look like when Lamont was there. He would get married. <laughs> first episode. He stood up there. He had the man. As he gonna take that woman. He said, "Do the him. You tag him." She said, "No." That man kept going. He said, Hon. "He said, Hon, wait a minute." She said, "No." The like, "Oh, I ain't even hear that." He said, "You the signing." And Uncle Elka came over to the house later on. He said, "Boy, you was sitting upside that guy. You look like a real dummy." <laughs> he let him know. You know, me and your aunt never did have a toaster. That's right. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, me and your aunt didn't have a toaster. <laughs> Uncle Edgar wanted that toaster, that's didn't he? Uh... I'm trying to tell y'all, these folks say stuff. These people, that's why you have to pay attention. You can't say, you, once he told these people he was the branch, where do you think they were looking from? From what tree? See, everything makes sense when you pay when you pay attention. They just hear Nazareth. They refer to the town. Not three makes a difference. Uh, not see make a difference because he told you in the book. Uh, why the fan uh, fifth chapter? You had to go get the fifth chapter of the book uh, Acts of the Shalakim. King. They told you him has Allahim desired to be a to be a not to be a not three, the supremes, and a savior, and to give repentance to Yasharon. And they told you that there was something. Witnesses. That's what you got to have, especially go to court. You don't you know why that's important? Because you know you got a court day coming up, my spot. See, as of the point of unashamed, after this, don't you know you got to have witnesses? They'll ask you to give your paper. You need to, they'll give you, you can subpoena people. Don't y'all know y'all are on the subpoena? Yeah, you got to go to court. These people have no idea what y'all, they have no idea what's going on, do they? Why y'all think these people keep saying they're witnesses? Are y'all stupid? Y'all think these folks, these folks ain't knocking on the door with no watchtower? These people are witnesses against you. I'm trying to, okay. All right, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see what happens. You going to court. Y'all going to court. The people in Capernaum, they're gonna go to witness against you. Mm -hmm. He told they're gonna tell you. All these people, they're gonna be, why you think he bring them to court? They're gonna testify against you. Y'all have no, y'all do the dumbest stuff. Y'all have no idea what you're doing, do you? Y'all just been showing, you have no idea. They man gonna set y'all up. Y'all know what we're doing right now. Typically what you do with your client, you wanna go over the case before you go in. Right, I don't right. want no surprises. Right. Y'all hey, do me a favor, don't tell me you're guilty. Cause by law you're disqualified, man. Mm-hmm. Don't you know, let me tell you something, you can't represent a, you can't represent a guilty person, did you know that? Don't you, <laughs> let me help y'all out. Most of these people don't know no better. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you what my attorney never did. You don't ask me that I do it. That's right. That's right. You fight to defend me that I did. That's right. Because if you know if I done it, then you know legally, legally, that would be wrong. They're an officer of the court. You can't defend me if you, I tell you I'm guilty. So why do you think Yahushua had to clear you up before you go? Because legally, he cannot stand up there and represent you <clears throat> if he know you're guilty. These people have no idea what they're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. That man can't represent you in court and he know you're guilty. That's dumb. That's why he, that's why he had to vindicate you. Because they, legally he cannot go to court and you know, and know. Y'all guys have got to confess what you've done. Mm-hmm. He couldn't even defend you. That's the whole purpose of cleansing you. Right. That way he can defend you. These people don't know what they're doing. Y'all in a system down here, and you don't, you don't know what's going on. Where y'all think these people get this from? You know when they took that man to court, you know what they did to him? They blindfolded him. They don't know why just still, why her eyes are covered. <clears throat> they have no reason, they don't have no idea why her eyes, that's what they did to Yahushua. You know what they asked him? Who hit, who hit you? you? Now you know if he know who hit him, what did he have to do? If you know of it, they don't know what they're doing. Y'all, y'all have no idea what y'all are doing. I, I don't have, you have no idea what you're doing. Everything these folks doing, they got it from you. That's why they blindfolded him, so he couldn't tell it. If he knew, if he knew, he got to tell it. That's your law. That's why they blindfolded him. They these folks don't know what they're doing. I love, I love y'all so much because you look so smart. I know you, you look so intelligent and your studies and so your deep studies and, and all, you know what I'm saying, and rooting it all back in them books and all. Y'all slow down, just slow down. That's right. Cat in the hat, Harry Potter, C Spot Run. You ain't gonna get nothing better than that. You why the fuck don't, don't tell them for a second. Bring your, they tell me, where your Bible's at? I got all three of them right here. 
said, I'm going to get in one of these books and you're going to send me and tell these lies because you don't understand what these people are doing. That's why they're blindfolded. These folks talking about why just they're blindfolded. Why folks do that for a reason? They put it right back in your face and let you know, I know what your system is. That's what they try to tell you, blind. That's why we're blinding him. He would have condemned us if he saw it. I'm trying to help these people out. He would have condemned you. Listen, I'm trying to, y'all have no idea. Please, y'all slow down. So he, he's trying to get y'all. So what happened, Pelotus wrote a title, and he placed it over the crucifixion. And this was the accusation that Yahushua, Yahushua the Nasri, they call him the Nasri. Yes, you know, he was the branch. That's how he was trying to do it. He was the branch. So you had to hang him on the tree. But see how you know he told you was all I was ever each that hung on the tree. And that's where you got stuck at. Because that's what you, they, under, they understand. He told you he was a branch. A branch connects to a tree. But they were stuck on, he was a came a curse. Because that was all you knew. I tell most of people know it's too basic. You, you don't even know that. You just find a storyline that you don't even know what's going on. It's a plot. It's a plot. He plotted the whole thing. How's you gonna get him up now? How's they gonna get him up now? So it all worked. But he told you gonna a man with skill lover, he gonna see your name. Jump over to the 27th chapter right quick, Book of Matthew Yahoo. 2735. Matthew Yahoo. Mm. I see something we didn't finish last night. Okay. God doesn't matter. We'll see how they go. <sighs> Mati Yahoo. Go ahead. 2735. Listen. And it came to pass when they crucified him, when they, crucified. they divided up his garments between them and cast lots to fulfill what was said by the pa of the Nabi. Mm -hmm. They divided my garments up among them and for my clothes, cast lots. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me tell you what they were doing too, somebody that we just came here running. What they actually were doing right here, they were doing something that was somebody. Most of y'all wouldn't pay attention to what they were going to do. Since he was getting ready to hang up on the tree, you know what, what he was going to have? Leaves. You know what leaves are for? Shade. That's what he tried to show you when he took down Nebuchadnezzar. He told you to shake off his leaves. He wanted everything to get from under him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they did with Nebuchadnezzar. They stripped him too, he put him down. Take off all his leaves. Mm -hmm. Your clothes ain't never, <laughs> you know how I know that? You ain't gonna believe it. When Adam and them was in the garden. Mm -hmm. Guess what they put on? Mm -hmm. That's why I told you, these people really don't know what they're doing. That's right. Adam Ben showed you this. He tried to show you he was an ox. That's yeah. why he put leaves on. That's all they did with Yahushua. They just shook his leaves off. So people get from under him. Listen. They sat there and watched him. That's what they were doing. Listen. And they placed the pronouncement of his guilt above his head. And they katab, this one is Yahushua, the Malak of the Yaudin. Yes. They crucified two robbers with him, mm -hmm. one on his right hand and one on his left. Mm-hmm. Those passing by blasphemed him and wagged their heads. Mm -hmm. And they said, you who would demolish the Hakal. You know, they told you too, they saw in, in uh, Kazum what they saw in the midst of uh, the Shamaim. You ain't gonna believe it. They had two more ox on the side of them. That's right. So get what they made him. Seriously, you thinking about it? Tree of life. He told you that I'll come that you might have, what was that? Kaya. Light and what? So exactly, what would you be? Asakai. I told him he'd do too much. Why you think they were sitting out looking at, you got two more trees on the side of it. Mm -hmm. They paying attention to the one in the middle. You ain't gonna believe it. He was sitting out in the garden. They put him right outside the city. Mm -hmm. I don't know what these people are doing. Last time, I guess y'all really don't pay attention, do you? What's the purpose of putting two more trees beside him? Because he already told you what was in the midst of the garden. It was a tree of life. Listen. And they said, you who would demolish the Hakal and build it in three Yamin, mm -hmm. save your Kai. And if you are the Ben of Allahim, come down from the crucifixion. And what happened? 
Likewise, the Rosh Kohanim among, along with the scribes and Zakanim, also mocked him and saying, he saved others, but he is not able to save himself. Mm -hmm. If he is the Malak of Yasharal, let him now come down from the crucifixion. Then we shall amon in him. Yes. He trusts in Allahim. Yeah. Now let him rescue him if he desires him. Yeah. For he said, I am the being of Allahim. Come on. Even the robbers who were crucified with him insulted him in a similar way. Mm -hmm. There was Kashak over all the Arats from the sixth hour to the ninth hour. And what happened? At about the ninth hour, Yahushua Sayak out in a loud call, mm -hmm. Ali, Ali, Lama Sabatani, that is my all, my all, why have you abandoned me? Mm -hmm. And some Anashim of those standing there shama it and said, He is Yakra for all Yahoo. Yeah. One of them ran quickly and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar. He placed it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. Mm -hmm. But the other Anashim said, leave him alone and we shall see if all Yahoo shall come to save him. Know what they said. And Listen. another Ish took a spear and thrust it through his side and mm -hmm. out came Dom and Mayim. Mm -hmm. But Yahushua Sayak out again with a loud call and his Ruach departed. So a couple of things now, they said something else now you need to know based off his statements. Um, the thrusting through kind of came through to show them something. When a man penetrated with the penis of a woman that's uh, Bethula, which is not virgin, we use a virgin, means ripe for sex. Uh, she's supposed to actually give out dom. That shows that she actually hadn't been with anybody else. Because Yahuwah had told us about the Torah in the third chapter of the book of Amus. They call him, he said, you only of all the people of the alum have, have I, I known. known. Well, the only way we could do that with anybody is we got to test it. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the writing told you to try it to see whether or not it's Elohim. Mm -hmm. That's why they had to thrust him through. We had to see him give out dumb. Mm -hmm. So when they wrapped him up, in the, when they wrapped him up in the linen cloth, that's why when they came in, they saw the linen cloth lying. Girl was on the linen cloth. That was the token of his virginity, that he hadn't been with no other people. No other people had been with him. Hello? Yes, I'm trying to help you all out. Every other nation came after him. You know how I know that? Because of my ring. She tried to tell y'all, I don't know, she said, I had known a man. And that's what she just told him. That's how I know it. Her other, the other Benin only generated after him. Because she clearly told you, I hadn't known a man. Mm -hmm. I don't know what these people are doing. That's how I know how everybody came in after. Yeah. Hello? So there are a couple of things that you really need to pay attention to in his statement, just based off of his statement, he was saying that you probably wouldn't pay attention to. The fact that he was crying out. Y'all want to pay attention to his statement? It's interesting. Really interesting. Y'all should have been listening. That he spoke with what? I was just listening to his statement. Let me see. I don't know. Maybe to tell me. See, let's see. Let's see if that's uh, Beth Malachi. They call it Second Kings. Let me see if it's one and one. Let me see where they go. Malachim, I said Malachim, 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 which are emperor. This is the second emperors. Listen. Let's see this go one and one. Listen. And Moab rebelled against Yasharal. <laughs> you hear that? Of the father rebelled against him. Ain't that something? Listen. Rebelled against Yasharal after the moot of Akab. Mm -hmm. And a, a cause, a cause y'all fell through the lattice mm -hmm. and is up in his upper chamber, which was in Shamram and became ill. Mm -hmm. So he shalak Malachim and said to them, go inquire of Beelzebub, the mighty one of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this sickness. Mm -hmm. But the Malachi of Yahuwah said to all Yahu, the Tishbite, Kum, 
go up to meet the Malachi of uh, the Malak of Shamron and say you know to them. To they tell who now? Go ahead. Don't worry about it. You hear it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Is it because there is no Allahim in Yasharal that you go to inquire of Beelzebub, the mighty one of Ekron? Mm-hmm. Now, therefore, thus says Yahuwah, the bed upon which you have gone up there, you shall not come down from it, but you shall surely moot, and all Yahoo departed. See, something you should have paid attention when he was up on the two. Y'all remember when he was crying out? What are you crying out? My Allahim, my Allah. why have thou forsaken me? And what did they say he did? That's not important to y'all. They just told you right here. You notice when they were getting ready to go and cry out Bezabub, you heard they just told you who they went and saw? Who? Go back to right. See what that verse 3 again. Read verse 3. Let's see what yes, it is. Sir. Listen. But the Malachi of Yahuwah said to all Yahoo, the Tishbite. But the Allahim, but the Malachi, the messenger of who? Yahuwah. Of Yahuwah, the existing one said to who? All Yahoo. My Allahim. The Tishbite. He dwells. That's what the Tishbite was. He dwelleth. That's why he said, all, that's why he cried out to all Yahoo, why had thou? Because the Tishbite means he dwells. You're not supposed to know it. Why would you? That's what the Tishbite was. It lets you know he dwelling. That's why he said you forsaken me. That's why he can't even angry with them. Because they were going to see Bezabub. Mm -hmm. He asked them, is it because that wouldn't make sense? Not based off my name. Because right. your Allahim dwelling. Right. These people don't know what they're doing. He just gave you the whole name for no reason. That's why he told you he had forsaken. He was saying he abandoned. But it wouldn't make sense. Not with Tishbite. Because that means dwell. My Allahim dwell. Hello? Yes, sir. All right. Just a little something. Don't pay attention. Don't worry about it. See, a lot of things really intersect and cross over that you're not supposed to pay attention to. You're just supposed to follow like the rest of these people do. You can tell what more people do. Listen, I do this with y'all just reading, okay? It don't make no difference where we go. I tell you, I can just, listen, they can put all the word they want, they just put them on the table. The man I told you, I work this thing like a scrabble. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, I'm trying to help y'all out. We just reading alone. Yeah. I know what he's saying, though. Yeah. You ain't gonna believe it, too. Why he was crying out, you ain't gonna believe it. I understood his name. He said a man with the skill level, they gonna, he said right. they gonna hear the voice crying out. And they're going to see a shim. Mm -hmm. That's why he put it up now. Why y'all think he had to cry out? Remember, it got dark. Hello? Mm -hmm. Then he cried out. Because then the light going to come at. Now, the person with the skill, they saw a shim. Mm -hmm. Okay, trying to help y'all out. He told y'all the voice was going to cry out. And the man that got wisdom, who got the skill level, he going to see a shim. A lot of stuff people miss, but you ain't supposed to get it. A lot of stuff, I wouldn't have had that conversation with y'all. We just reading it here together. I just tell you, I know what he's saying. I just help y'all out. I know what he's saying. It makes a whole lot of sense. Versus whatever you were thinking in your mind, <coughs> that he's just hollering out something. Hello? Yes, sir. What's our goal here? Our goal is to make sure that we really understand the plan of salvation and the importance of it. And I, and I know you guys haven't on that screen on YouTube here because you kind of got a lot of play in what you're doing and you just kind of basically just kind of reading something for what it is and you're thinking, well, if I just look up the names, I'm going to get it. You're really not because it don't work that way. It's a complexity, but it's kind of simplistic. You have to pay attention to what they're doing. You got know what I'm saying? Everything has a reason and a rationale to it. You might not understand it today because it's not for you for today, okay? Everything coming this time. Right. Y'all yeah, got it? But you have to be a person to be able to accept things when they come. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we try to rush the gifts. I know a lot of, a lot of I, 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 I try to keep reading. I tried a guy came here years ago. 
That boy, you know, that boy, he read the Bible already. He said he had to be through with the whole Bible and had to understand the whole by the time he was 33. He said all the prophets back then died at 33. I don't know where he read that got it from. And he just kept on sitting by me that Bible. That boy wouldn't stop. He wouldn't move. But I was like, shout. He just, divine just aggravated me. He just read, 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 read. That's all he do. He, 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 he read, he, he's really in the Bible. He just, he just read it all the time and read. It didn't take long. He started sweating. He couldn't get his stuff together. They get bad. I said, now all that study. He started, Yakima, Yakima. He kept it. <laughs> Who remember? That? I ain't making this up. Ever. The man read. The man read the Bible every day. He read through this whole thing. Had to understand the whole Bible before he was thirty-three. It didn't take no time. <laughs> it didn't take no time. Cause I, I try to get him. What you doing? Ain't even for the right reason. Yeah. Uh, people, I really want to know this for salvation. Yeah. That's it. I want to know it so I can be better than nobody. I don't try to go broadcast nothing. I know a little, cause you can't compare what you have to you. So small, and it's what he loaned you. It's not for me. It's for the people that he allowed to hear it. That we all come into the knowledge. It ain't for them. It's never for one. It's till we all come into knowledge. The little I have put together with the other little bit. He get the other ones, and we get together. When we all come together, that's how we come to a completion. When these people start to do their own little things and, and take out them, you, I already know it don't be for the right reason. But you can keep doing it. You keep doing it. I already know it's not for the right reason. Because everything he tried to teach those people, he was trying to teach them oneness the whole time. That's all he tried to do. He tried to get them to operate as one man. Even Musha saw it. He said, you gonna kill all these people like... One each. Why he said you gonna kill all these people like a bunch of people that are gonna be dead in the slaughter? No, one man. One man. That's how he saw it. That's how he saw Adam when he went out. Why you think every time he kept calling you to be in Adam? All I see is one man. So it made sense to come back and redeem him by one man. That's how it made sense. One man. Y'all hear? That's how he kept trying to show him oneness. Even though the people were bidding by multiple Nakash. How many Nakash did he build and put up? He put a snake up for everybody. Was he, although they were all bit, you know he tried to show them? Although all you have been bitten separately, I got one conclusion for healing. All it took was one. Fashion one. And it'll be that everybody that looked on it. But how I know that's the one that bit me? He starts showing you that everybody got, di we all got different areas of where we've been struck in life. Still one man. That's why I harbor him. That's why I harbor him. Hey, they tried to tell you, that's why the winning team had to find a beat. I was looking through some videos the other day. I said, these are some crazy people. <laughs> one day we're going to release a memoir of these people. I said, man, it's scary. It's very scary with these people. These people like they probably just walk in and just go to work. That is so far from the truth. There's major arguing and fighting, major disruption, but it always focuses back to one person. <laughs> that nigga heater. Trouble. But um but, but I, I I do with the con of Yahuwah, want us all to to be able to work together better, even my young people, for the reason he put it on our law, for them to understand. It's, it's for them to understand. It's for you guys to know this. He's given this for you guys to know this. And typically, over the course of years, kids have been ignored a long time. Y'all know they're growing. Come on, where, how much time people put in kids? Let, go somewhere and let them color. Go, go sit over there somewhere. Let them, you know what I'm saying? Give them a little children's church. You need to know the same thing we know. The same, how, how you gonna come back and judge? What are you gonna judge them with a children's coloring book? You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to judge them with Paw Patrol. <laughs> Tell a tabby. That man come back, he going to judge the alarm, the whole world with his amat. Right. That means you guys need to know what we know. That means you guys have to repent and you guys got to be converted. I try to let you know. Give me 3 and 19 of Acts of the Shalom King. Do you learn anything, though? Yes, I'll be to the kaboo to you. Yes, sir. Now next week, I know it'd be uh, Purim, so that'd be what? That'd be three days we'd be going. Shabbat, so it'd be, a, it'd be a Shabbat, it'd be on Shabbat day too. So it start with Saturday, Sunday, and Sunday night. Start Friday night? Friday night, so the end Saturday night. Yes, sir. Start Friday night, Saturday, how long about Sunday night. How long about Boston? That when the end. 
So I'll be on the Shabbat Shabbat. Mm -hmm. But we're already going to be Friday night start Shabbat. Then <clears throat> Shabbat. Then Sunday night. All right. They got that. Y'all heard Bishop? That's it. So those two days, I, I'm probably let y'all just perform some Shabbat day and that Sunday. So I'll let y'all perform. So y'all come in and do y'all thing. Don't come with no drag and stuff, you know, crazy little stuff. No foolish. Come with some stuff. I'm going to lose it too, boy. Isn't that right? We're going to be celebrating. Celebrate. Yeah, we'll celebrate. All right, let's see what he told us to do. Listen. I shall give wonders in the Shamayim above and ots in the rocks beneath. Dumb and fire and vapor of smoke. Before that great, <laughs> he read Acts 2 and 19. I mean, fine. <laughs> I know I called 3 and 19, but yeah. I, I know what I called, but I, I worked that too. It don't make a difference. You said 3. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, I should. Hope y'all don't make no mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah. No, you never had it, man. Said it last night. I never can't be hollering at them members. That's what you said. But you can't be hollering at these members. Ooh. I'm they color. That's true. It like when I use the N word. Yes, sir. It's a word of endearment. Yes, sir. When you use it, yes, it's oppression. It's niggas. Zaldo. <laughs> no. I apologize. Y'all, y'all know it ain't me. Y'all know, y'all know me. I, I try my best to raise them different. Y'all know I try. Woo, it rough around him. Come on. Yes, sir. 3 and 19. <clears throat> Listen. Therefore, repent and turn back for the blotting out of your katain. See that? That's what we got to do. See, repent and turn back. See, we've gone, we've gone the wrong. This, this makes sense now based off what he's saying. Because, you know, sometimes this is what people do. I can repent, but I still keep going the same way. So they saw this as something, not just something being said, but it's a visual to him. This is something they naturally know to repent because he even talked about us returning back to him. See, anytime, and th let, me, let me say this, just, just based on what we're reading, okay? Repent, and then he said, do what now? And turn back. And turn back, which is simply to being converted. Now, we'll look at Adam. When Adam committed Qatar, Mr. Mark, exactly where did he stay in the garden at that point? He didn't. So he was out. So what did he need to do in order to be with Yahuwah? Repent. See what I'm saying? He need to get back to that estate. Back to that estate with me, back into that relationship to where it was. So understand how they'll see this. We see this, I repent, but you keep going. Let me tell you, I remember people say this. I, I heard this all Elijah. People was in the dojo. They said, I repent every day. Because the Bible says if you repent, he's faithful to forgive us. I'm just telling you, see, see, this is why when you see things from words, sometimes you'll play games. They said, well, all I had to, is it sin? Yes, it's sin. So all I got to do is repent. That's not like, well, no. But think about it. So now you're saying it's not, but it is. I saw all that, so guess what I do? Every day I repent to the Lord. And he said he's faithful for to give me. But when he said, but when he told you to return back, then you understand you have to get out of the situation. When you just hear it from repent, that means then you write back to what you're saying. He has delight in burnt offering and sacrifices. As in... As in, say, when you say add, that means to the same, it's, if I offer sacrifice and you obeying, really, we're doing the same thing. See what I'm saying? See? Because you're saying add. Add right. me to the same degree with one S. Right. Two, talk to Prince. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the one S. That's right. <clears throat> okay. So we ain't put the essences on it yet. So, <laughs> so now they're like the essences, like the move. <laughs> but anyway, so now... When you look at it as he's saying, you can't say these are equivalent. So now to get them to understand, because they, they operated like that. The purpose of bringing the sacrifice was I repenting. But then I was doing what? I was going back to what I was doing. Right, right, So right. when I tell you to repent and return, then you, then you have to leave from where you're at. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have to leave from that position, leave from where you're at, right? So this is what we're trying to get people to understand. And we understand, because a lot of y'all are repenting, but you, you're not returning back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to come back to get uh, come back to reestablish and reaffirm the relationship. Okay, listen. In order that Yamim of refreshing might come from the presence of Yahuwah. Hold on, did we start? Then he said it blotting out him. He said in order that what happened? So verse 19 again. Yeah. Therefore, repent and turn back uh -huh. for the blotting out of your katain. See that? That's the only way I can forgive it. See, let me say. 
and you don't have to go get a Beth. Do I breathe how y'all mean? Seven, fourteen. If my arm, which are, see that? And you know what happened? That, that's important. Now pay attention to this. Car by my shim. Pay attention. What the car? What the car mean? Car. You ain't gonna believe what happened. In the garden, Adam heard his call. Right, right, right. Who is he calling? That's the shim I gave him. Right. See, that's what he was trying to get it. If my people, which are called by my shim. Right. So he was trying to get him. So I called you. Right? Yes, sir. So he would call him. If they would, let me say, humble themselves and, and seek my. Pani. Because remember, he hid himself from it. Right. He wasn't looking for it. He said, when I heard it, I hid myself. Right. So I was not looking for it, right. and nor did I answer the call. Right. Because of where I was. I told you I did. I hid myself. See, Yahushua tried to tell you that too. When he said, um, when they asked, man, what happened to you? You know what I'm saying? Seeing the man got a big hole in him and stuff like that. And he tried to ask him. He said, it wasn't an enemy. I would have hit. So what did Adam knew? He would come to kill me. Mm. That's an enemy. I know when somebody, who got to, yeah, come on, you don't kill me. No. He said, I heard that call. That's somebody come to kill me. So I hit myself. And Yahushua told you, he said, that's what I would have did. He said, you done, he said, one the enemy. He said, did I would have hit myself. Right. He said, one wasn't even him that hated me. And you know how he knew that? Because he kissed me. That's right. He kissed me. See, you had to pay, they don't pay attention. I know you don't pay attention. You ain't supposed to pay attention. That's, if you paid attention, man, he said, there's no check on the 25th. They already know it. <laughs> Ain't that right? But, you, but y'all, do y'all understand now when you hear his statements? <clears throat> he can let you see how things happen. And now you understand the relationship with him and Adam. He, he knew that's my shim. Mm. I call, he called, that's the shim I gave. I called it. Yeah. Then he'd have humbled himself. He was in a bad state and he'd have sought my face. Yeah. And then he was going to have to, return. how about return yeah. from his rush away? Mm-hmm. Then you know what I did? I'd have healed him. Yes, sir. I forgave his sin. And you know what I did? I'd have healed the land. Yes, Look where he put him at. Thorns and thistles. That's right. For who? That's because of you. Yeah. See, see all this, this direct, so when you see this, this is how you people, I done turn, we done turn back. No, you hadn't. Look at what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. See, all this, see, that's why I told you, people don't understand the relationship. <laughs> see, if you just pray and love the Lord and love. Stop it. Just stop it. Now, that why I don't have a conversation with a lot of people. Man, I let people tell you, it's just, it's, it I'm going to make you vomit. You just yeah. say, man, these people have no idea what they're talking about. Sure. Have, you have an illusion about this man. What I have about that man is practical. I understand the relationship. Everything he told him, I gave you that <clears throat> shim. I named him. I named him. And so when I call your name, listen, this one, hold on, say that 13, what we talk about that, 14, 14? Let me say 13, 15 EU. Might be 14, 14. Let me say 13 EU, they call it Job. Job, I'm call it Job. The book of Job. Go to work after Shabbat. <clears throat> hey, he said, well, y'all gotta get out here in 10 more minutes, I gotta clock in, I know. <laughs> Come on, that, that, yeah, that sun's steady dropping. <laughs> you think I'm in that height, man. <laughs> 13, 15, right, 14, 14. Listen. Behold, he shall kill me, I shall not wait. Nevertheless, I shall justify my Darakim before his Pani. 14. Well, he's been this out now. He said, he gonna do what now? Hold on, listen. <laughs> Read that again. This is 1315. Yes, sir. Listen. Behold, he shall kill me. Mm-hmm. I shall not wait. Nevertheless, I shall justify my dark king before his pani. Mm-hmm. So, so that makes sense because that, that would let you know when he told him about forsaking. So when he went through, now just reading it, you listen. When he was up on the tube, when he asked him about him, why <coughs> he had forsaken him. Because this typically, he showed us typically where we were at in the flesh. Come on, I mean, we'll, sometimes what people get us at it feel like you shouldn't ever have a doubt, you should never question, um, you should never feel left out or whatever it might be. That's not practical, because he did it. But he gave us resolve. So you know what Yahushua let us know? 
I already know he's going to kill me. That was, he was just let you know. <clears throat> They'll say, though he slay me, he knew he was going to kill him. Because it had to be for a reason. And who know what the reason was? That sin had to appear to be that. We had to see a righteous man fight that. Thing. Okay, let me see. I killed that man right here because I'm, I'm, I just had to use something. Because he molested, um, say, a hundred babies. How many of y'all said, oh, that's not, I mean, that's not fair. That should be, what y'all thinking? Justified. So it makes sense. So how about I'm going to kill him and he ain't did nothing? Because, let me say that, because a hundred babies were molested. I'm talking about rape, butcher. I have to butcher and kill a hundred babies. But I'm going to kill him and he ain't had nothing to do with it. What y'all look at? That don't make sense. You're right. But I had to do this to make this act appear as bad as it is. That's why he had to die. That was the only way sin was going to appear as it was. Come on, some of us, that we did the same crime, I said, well, I'm going to kill him because he drunk a bill. What y'all thinking? How many of y'all done drunk a bill? How many of y'all drunk too many bills? So when I kill him for drinking one bill, what y'all thinking? I mean, I kind of said, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's kind of, come on, what y'all think? I mean, come on, I mean. Yeah, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So he had to show you the most horrific situation and then put on a man that's not even guilty of it. Mm. It's not even guilty of it. But he had to do this so it'll appear just as that. I need you to know this act appears to be that bad. This act is that bad. Mm. It, this, this is justifiable. Y'all got it. He looked at, though he's going to kill me, I'm still going to be justified in his own that I'm not guilty. Mm. That's, what you, that's what a judge is actually a vindicator. Yeah. It vindicates on both ends. If I kill the guilty, then I vindicated the Sadiq. See, he looked guilty. Why we put him up on the two? Because he looked guilty. Come on, why, why was he on the two? <clears throat> so what does he need? Vindication. That's why you who is going to be the Sadiq, the Sadiq shopping, the righteous judge. How many times y'all been accused of things? They've been blamed on you. That's right. Guess why he got to come back here? Genitation. I got to vindicate you. See, you... <laughs> There's no need for him if you've already been justified. Right. When he come here, this is what he's doing, okay? How many of y'all seen Godfather? Two. Two. Not, not that three. Three don't even count. I don't know what it is. That stuff went so many different ways. I was so pissed with Al Pacino. He still one of my favorite, but I put my hand in his face. That was just terrible. <laughs> I, I said, no disrespect, but you know, you should have never did. That was terrible. But anyway, he told him when his dad had died, he was sitting down. And one called it came, Tom came to talk to him about meeting with them. He said he, gonna, he said, I decided to be Godfather Connie's baby. He said, then I'm going to meet with Tatalia. I'm going to meet with Bazzini. I'm going to meet with all the heads of the five family. I'm going to settle all family business. When he come back here, he's going to settle all family business. He's going to meet with everybody when he get back here. That's why we're waiting on him to come. He's going to settle all business. Because there's still some things that have been blamed on you you ain't done. That's still some thing blame them in. That's some thing we felt like we got away with. Because we got away with it, somebody else been found guilty of it. So when he come back, he's some vindicated. That's what he's doing. He vindicated. Hello? Same thing. Look, when with, with, with Solomon, who they call Solomon, his first court case is the most renowned. That two women laid in the room and both of them were prostitutes. And both of them had babies and they laid there together. And the one told them, she said, when we lay, she said, this lady. She rolled over on top of her baby, and her baby died. She overshadowed him, and the baby died. That's what she told him. So that baby died. And she said, well, now, while I was asleep, she took my baby, the live baby, and kept it and put the dead baby under me. And when they went to Solomon, he sat there and he heard, and all the people got to sit down and see his cock mouth. And when he heard the case, and both ladies were pleading, he told them, he ordered the man to come with this, he come with a sword. He said, and cut the baby in half. He said, give both of them half. And the lady told him, said, no, 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 no. She said, don't kill it. She said, I'd rather she have it. The other lady said, that's right. She said, cut it in half. <clears throat> he said, give that woman her baby. So give her her baby. No, he said, give her her baby. Ain't that right? Yeah. And that's when everybody saw the cock, the wisdom, the skill he had with him. See, you didn't know what happened with Yahushua, did you? When he was up on the two hours, three hours dead, because he rolled over on him. That's when it happened in the night. That's when that baby died. Mm. 
That night she told you what happened. She said she rolled over her baby and her baby died. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. That was our dead baby. Who should show him? He presented him alive. Who y'all think baby that was? We killed that baby. Hello? He just let them know. That's your baby. You kill your baby. He presented he was alive. Hello? Yes, sir. That's what we want him to do now. He come to present us alive. Yeah. Let me tell you some people. Y'all take your time. Don't run too fast. There's a lot of things y'all try to rationalize and put together in yourself. Even with me, you try to figure it out and go. I guarantee you right there, everything ain't right gonna prove itself. Yes, I guarantee you everything ain't right gonna prove itself. Right. You just wait and watch it. I guarantee you, I'm scared when I move. Yes, if people try to figure out how I move, I guarantee you I'm scared when I move. Yes, I work with a real skilled man. Yes, I just give people time to see where you're at. I guarantee you, everything will prove itself out. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is my seat. <laughs> no, I'm, not telling you, I'm skilled now. Don't let nobody make, don't let nobody make no fool like y'all now. Yeah, preacher, I tell you. I don't agree with everything. I know. This is my seat right here. You give some time. He don't prove out everything ain't right. I'm just telling you, I'll help y'all out. Listen, we come here and read. I don't have no manuscript. We walk through it together and I'll tell you how it go. I'll tell you how it go. That's all I got to do. Let's put all the pieces down here. I'll put that puzzle together for you. You get through it. You'll be able to see it to see if it makes sense to you. I'm telling you, it got to make sense. It's a logical, it's a practical reasoning for everything this man done. Y'all hear me? That's why he let you know he said I present. Y'all didn't know why he presented him alive. That we were doing. We killed our baby. <laughs> Y'all know, huh? Yeah. He tried to tell you, reproach them that reproach thee. Yeah. That's Dawood's son about it. Yeah. He loved the best. Yeah, he told her. He said, you're going to live. Yeah. The child going to die. The tourist did that. Yeah. See, the tourist set up what innocent people wind up dying. Yeah. That baby, did the baby sleep with Bathsheba or Dawood? Yeah. Who died? Baby. He told Dawood he wasn't going to die. Right. He said he done put away his guitar. See, we started learning to calm then under the Torah. But the Torah allowed it for somebody to die. Y'all see what I'm saying? Yes, it allowed it for the baby that so it made sense when you who should came he died for. And I thought that would be under the law. Yeah. That was under the law. You couldn't have done that under con. Yeah. See, so people don't understand the practice to do this. No. You couldn't have done that under con. That made no sense. Con would not have allowed it for him to die and for you to live. Hmm. The law, a law allowed it for that. All right, trying to help y'all out. Here you go again, you mess up. See, that one go get ready. That's why you got to keep both of them. Listen, leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Isn't that right? You got to understand them. I wouldn't understand this kind if it weren't for the law. I would have no record. I, it would make no sense to me. I had to know that I need to know the severity of the law. I knew how severe the law was, so I know what state I should be in. That, listen, that's, that's what grew my affection toward it. Think about it. You grow affection up through learning, through the learning of the process and how things are actually done and how he implemented things. You realize that should have been me. Yeah. That's supposed to be me. Ain't that right? That's supposed to be me. He said, now you understand kind versus the Torah. Ain't that right? Yes, so with the Torah, you know what he had? How he had judgment? <laughs> without mercy. That's right. Without, it, don't matter how that, it don't work. I can't give you law with mercy. The law don't have it. Okay, don't have it. The law said, man, that live by these things. They do the, do the thing. That's how he live. That's how he died, too. The law didn't allow, y'all saw the tour, I don't come in every now and then and pick, like, sometime the bad seasons. You know what I'm saying? Remember when he would play, Blackberry, my last sit when he back there. He thought going to be some heartaches and pain. Remember that? He like, you know, he like, the law didn't allow him to come back. That's why he put a cherub in there, swing the sword every way. Why we swing every way? Cause think what he's trying to do. Do you see what? Yes, sir. You see why it made sense? Swing it every way. I, I believe I could have got in. I guarantee you couldn't have. See, that's what he's trying to show you. See, y'all got to know what y'all dealing with. There's no way. You, these people trying to don't listen to these people. You couldn't get in. That's why it swung. What, what the sense of tell you it swung every way, every way to the entrance? Because I kind of check. I keep trying to show you couldn't get in. That was something pointing you. Who should try to tell you? I'm the door. You need an opening. Yes, he tried to tell you the porter opened at my call. Mm -hmm. 
When I call, they open the gate for me. You need me. <laughs> Come on, folks. I am bored y'all. I'm going to get ready to let y'all go. But listen, get your mindset on living right. Watch your hood do the rest. That, I want, and all this is about appreciating all he did you didn't recognize. Because right. you know what you're thinking. He came out, he was born, laid in some straw, start itching. Then he went to church one day, his mom and them lost him. And you think the parents should be locked up. Man, it had defects. He been locked up. I ain't never lost my child. Liar. <laughs> then, because you mind, you run all over the place. Then he went to church another time, had an Easter suit on, and he read a script one time in there. You know what I'm saying? Then he went out there older. Then he went to that part of that time and they had ran out and he made that boom farm. <laughs> yeah, right? Because they had the animals next to him, so the boom farm. And the bass, you know, had the music real loud. See what I'm saying? Seriously, Justin, you about to get a check. Malcolm, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly like that. <laughs> he said, watch me when call my name. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, you know, in your mind, you know, of course, it's, it's some theatrics is what I'm saying, but just it's so, it's almost like a little skit to you. You know what I'm saying? Looking at what he's done. But he had to exemplify so many things to show the rationale for what he did. Because you're trying to convince people. Remember, the people that before he came, all we knew was Torah. All we knew was life and death, blessing and curses, as they call it. That's all we knew. It was just, all we knew the strictness of it. We just know you don't do it. Why? Because he'll kill you. We just knew we gave to him. Why? Because he told you to give it to him and he'll kill you. That's all we knew. We knew you don't commit adultery. Why? Why? Because you don't want to get killed. It's adultery. Nobody understood the love of it. Because then he kept trying to tell her, and, and it's conjunction. And you should have heart me with all your heart. And with all your mind. And with all your soul and all your strength. We didn't know how to do that. How you love somebody just kill people? Because they can't do something. So he had to get away in an approach to us to get us to see what I'm trying to get you to see. I had to do this to get you to see another part of me. So if I'd have came you at the first, the way you saying, you'd have never received it. You'd have never accepted it. Y'all got it. It's just like he showed you the two sons, then the one they called prodigal, which that definitely means extravagantly wasteful. One stayed and never left. The one that left came back. Who you think appreciated father more in the house? The one that left. Because he got there and saw how hard it was. Listen, nobody could appreciate Rakan more than Adam could if you gave it to him. Especially when you've been there. We, everybody else trying to get there. How about you say, you know what he could tell you? He could tell you what Yahushua told you. Ain't no man ever seen the father at the time. Just me. He lets you know. Listen, he let you know. I, I dwelt there. He tell, what he told you, I came down. Adam could tell you, I came out. Nobody could tell you that. They the only two men could tell you that. Huh? Where you trying to go? He lets you know, you can't go where I came from. I don't let you know, you couldn't go. Can't let you know, you can't even keep the Torah. There's no way you can go where I came from. So, an uh, interest had to be ministered. How important it is to us. I tell you what, you get me a man, and get him up here and tell me, show me he can have a baby. You know what the problem is? He don't have an entrance. That's what he did when he showed you at dome. He had to administer an entrance. How you think she can come out? How you think she came in? That was the entrance. That's why they opened it up. Mm -hmm. These people, y'all don't know what you're doing. Don't worry about it. The book told you that. He said entrance had to be ministered. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when you were giving minister, they call it administered. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all really not y'all really don't pay attention for real. That's what the purpose why he opened your hoosh up. How's we gonna get in? Right. They have no idea. He had to show you fit. Listen. Oh, this is not just metaphor. He would physically show you how it's going to happen. It is impossible. But with Elohim, all things are possible. Y'all hear me? Um, that's how they do it. He had to give him a wound. Hello? That's it. By his wound. That's how you got in. See, I appreciate him. I appreciate him for just the time he gave him. Because surely it's your body. He got so much he could be doing. Especially for people that won't really sit down and really lay it to heart, just what's been done. I, I, I really try to go over, um, and, and I really want to make sure that I show him in my living that I am so appreciative. I, I didn't know how. You know, you hear people like, oh, I love him. You see people get emotional. I was just like, that one me. I don't know how you get to that point. Anybody that's be like that, you're like, I don't know how you get emotional 
to like how you saw people get. It wasn't that I was critical. It's just I didn't. I wasn't there. Right. I don't know how you get there. I said, well, that's just certain people. When you get to understanding, when you really realize, it, it, and you know what? <laughs> just like coming out Mizraim, you know what he told them? That was a shorter way. That was a shorter way. He took it a long way. They'll appreciate it. They appreciated it. I appreciate the long way he took me. All the stuff, think about it. all these different hats you who had to wear. That man came with a bag of hats. You gotta be a Kohan. You gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You gotta betray a female. You gotta betray. There's a lot of hats. So it just make you appreciate all the craft that you're saying. And then you say, what is the purpose of all this? And he said, it's for you. You looking at, you did all this for me? I said, for you. Everybody here in particular, one a group particular, each one of you in particular, he wore them hats for you, for me. Everyone, it wasn't no, well, for this group, no, for every individual. That's why I had to wear all those different hats. So you might believe. He know. He know we're critical about certain things. We live with certain things. We'll believe every other thing but him. He says, so I got to wear all these different hats. I got I to gotta betray all these different Characters for you, for you. Just so see how much time I want. You can do some stuff quick. It's some stuff it take time. It take time to do it. That's why it took so long and the fullness of time. It took time. It took a lot of time. You know how long we were waiting on him to come? Long time. It took a lot of time. We showed with he came early and sooner. Had you know what? Remind me of what Martin told him. Had you come earlier? Our brother still been alive. Had he come early, man. But you know what he did? He wept. You know what they said? Oh, how he loved him. Oh, how. You, people looked and saw how Yahushua cried, and the crowd said, Oh, how he loved him. You know, you feel like you're dead, man. You feel like people forget about you and don't care. He loved no. I love him. That's why I got him up. He gonna get me up. He gonna get you up. He gonna prove his love. He gonna prove his love to her. That's what he said. You know what he could have said? Well, let the dead bury the dead. Never said that, did he? He wept. Short in line he got, Yahushua wept. I don't know why they call it no verse. Just stop it. Man put them lines. There ain't no verse. Why don't we just stop something right there, two words, make a fool out you. And here you be quoting, that's the smallest verse. That's not... First of all, it was never written with no verses, no chapters. They're all one letter. They just broke it down. That's why people get messed up to mind. I like it taught by chapters. You by the dumbest I ever seen. You can't teach no chapters. There's no such thing. This is something they made up. They get you meant like Jesus talking about chapter 24. Give me 24 chapter. <laughs> Nobody know what you're talking about. This one letter. Do you understand how these people got? They had to just read through a whole letter. All, the whole letter. So you understand how much memory they had to have because you read it through it. They get the one thing like, get me paid 367. I don't have no number. You just had to read. The, this is the book. This is the Sephir right here. You read through the Sephir. You read it. You read it through. Do you get the way you're going? Look how he made things some more simplistic for us. Ain't that right? He made a hard way a whole lot simpler for us. And you know what the sad part is? We don't appreciate nothing he done. We don't appreciate nothing that he allowed to go from line upon line. He a little. You think they could do that? You think the folks, hold on, go grab me the other Sephora right here. <laughs> like, man, hold on. You better stay with one book, man. I'm not keep picking all these books up. Man, you sit on here, you got about seven, 18 books on this man down here. I'm like, man, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> man, 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 you don't read through, man, you don't went through so many moon hearts every day. You can't just keep picking up all them scroll reading. Only you who can sit here and simplify it for us. See, a lot of, all this for us. All this for us so you don't get deterred, you don't get lost. You know what I'm saying? You don't get distracted out, set up a way for And I want to say that because I really want you to go in the depth of yourself and search yourself and look at, have you really been fair with him? Have you really been fair with him? All of us, include me, for the times we doubt it, for the times we question, for the times we want to quit, for the times we felt like other people had a better stake in it than we did, for all the time, for the time that we went and put our all in, for the 
for the times, for the time we, we, we kind of were withdrawn, for the times we were hesitant, for the times when we, when, when we felt like, you know, things weren't given, things were owed to us. All of the things that we, our hangups are, every one of us, we all got, I mean, we all got hangups. Mm-hmm. What we, we felt with him? But he been fair to us. He been fair to us. Now, if it had been better than fair, and in fact, he didn't cut us off. He killed old people. He told, he said, these were murmurers and complainers. Killed them. They, they ain't, he said they smoked and drank. They just murmured. They complained. They questioned. And he killed them. And they let us come back and find out, you know you were wrong. I could have killed you. But I gave you recon. Undeserved favor. That's what, that, that, in itself grew my affection for him. It let me grow in my attention span for him, my tolerance to say, I can do this. I want to know this. I want to be right with him. You know what I'm saying? I want to be right. That's something um, I, I really want to do. It's not something just a pastime. It's something just to say or to do it. I, 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 knowing where I'm at now, I feel like a lot of things I did were more just kind of um, just kind of recite it, you know, based off of where I feel like I, where I'm at now, I just see where you just got to get locked in a mode and you're going, you don't even realize that you kind of just locked in and you're just going, you just kind of like saying, just kind of following the mainstream in a sense. But you know, I finally reached that point in my life to where I sat down and I can go through it and think it through, you know, by his ability, of course, and see it where I see this versus well, you know, the Lord, you know, secret thing belong to him, which is true. Something we said was secret, just we didn't know and we didn't want to try to indulge any further. We just wanted the easy, quick way out as long as I could get in. And it don't work that way. I know it might sound complicated. Y'all understand what I'm saying, though? And I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't, I, I, I want to be open to, receptive to, and accepting of whatever his will is. I'm learning to do it it's Rashawn. I, I really want to, I'm, I'm working, I want my mind to stay open to that. Whatever your will is, whatever your will, and then be willing, just like E.U. said, he going to kill me, but also going to be justified for it present. Right. I, I want to be open. I know, I ain't no use of me sitting here saying going to die. I'm, I'm going to have to die. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to die. I won't be like E.U. though, but I'm going to be justified. That's why I want, I want to be, because think of it, okay, you can say you ain't. Go ahead and tell it. Whatever you say to yourself won't happen. Go ahead and say, I, I am not, not going to die. die. Is that the truth? No. So let's not tell lies that mode ourselves. We are going to die. As much as we don't want to, but guess what we can do? We ain't got to die a sinner. That's right. You ain't got to die a transgressor. Because that's going to be a hard way. So since I know this is something that's approaching I got to do, it's to my advantage to make sure I get it right. See, if a seed is properly stored, if it's done right, it can get up again. We know that from nature. That's all I got to do. I, I just got to make sure when I die, I die right. Y'all hear me? That will, that will secure my Zerah. That makes sense? We didn't get to read it last night. I don't know how to get it, but in the 15th chapter of the book of... Um, First Corinthians, I was going to show out what he told you, Yahushua, the Rosh Pari, which is the first fruit. Afterward, which means we're going to mimic the same thing. All are going to Zerah. It's going to make sense. You know what happened while we had that sin issue? Because there was a breach. I ain't trying to coon. I'm trying to Zerah. I'm trying to rise. If he the first fruit, afterward, them that are here, what am I going to be doing? Why is he Zerah and I'm cooning? Okay, all you gotta do is pay attention to what he did in the Shamaim. Huh? He told you he put, he put all of them now. All those Zerat, they didn't come. And the Kuka Bean. So I don't know why would I be coming. Not when he come, I'm following after him. You can't follow after somebody doing something different. Y'all remember playing basketball to warm up, you run, first prayer play, and everybody keep going, you follow after him, you put on the board too. Last man, he gonna put it in. That's what we waiting on. Y'all got it? Yes, so that's how we know he in the front and he coming behind. Yeah. Ain't that right? right. He, listen, I'm coming behind. Yeah. That's too. Appreciate you.